There's a friend of mine, I'm speaking up, but I'm speaking for anybody. You know what I'm saying? Now hear me clearly on this. Before I get out of here, I'm going to say this to everybody out there, okay? Before I get out of here. I'm asking y'all to mediate this thing for Tiffany before passing the bill. How much is you made? Let's Listen to me with some reason here. It's issues on both sides, goddammit. Both sides got issues. Oh, it's not just on one side. It's issues on both sides. Mediate the conflict first, and then you pass your judgment. That's all I'm saying. Black folks have been under the gun for centuries, man. Centuries. We condemn each other, we charge each other with a bunch of stuff out here without no proof positive on it. All of us got issues. There's not one person in there that got no issues, man. Let's stop saying gay. I don't want no money. Let me be clear with y'all. All I want Hit that like button, bro. You wouldn't believe it. Bring it back to love and happiness out here for the township. You know, all these uh, naysayers. Listen to me. Everybody's double talking, cross talking, all that kind of shit there. Let me say this. You know, I'm back to discipline. I'm back to discipline. It's killing us. It's killing us. I'm going to overdo it. I ain't going to overdo it. I just want to say that I respect for the process. You know what? I want to say share the stream out, bro. Yeah, share it out. But look at how many people. Let's be honest with you. How many people are show of hands? How many people are show of hands? Put on the track of your PA this time. Thank you, sir. How many people are show of hands? I mean, that's crazy. Not one black man in this should be going against a black woman. Come on. I'm sure they brought me through that the park that, uh, if you guys exit towards Sydney, you know that park right there. 
So my question would be, I would love to know, because I do want to be, especially as a youth member, someone who actually, especially if, since I graduated college and actually have a high paying job and I've started actually contributing to taxes, I want to know when the next conversation or referendum pertaining crime and how we resolve crime and also how we mitigate future crime could occur because, yeah, we can talk about financials, but I also do care about safety. I care about the safety of my community. I care about the safety of my neighbors. And it seems time and time again, uh, there's been a degradation of safety within our community. I don't know if anybody else feels that, but being a youth person myself, seeing, you know, growing up in, in this neighborhood, I've seen what it was when I was four, five, six, and I can see what it is now that I'm 23. So those are my only comments. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon. Um, first of all, I want to tip my hat off to you, Tiffany, for what all, you are appointed to this seat. Ma'am, I'm sorry. Can you please official, state your name and address? Felicia Johnson, 14440 Union Avenue, Hart, Illinois. <laughs> I want to tip my hat off to you because I believe in respecting the seat. Even though I didn't agree with things that Frank Ziccarelli did when he was here, rest his soul, I respected the seat. So as an elected official, former elected official, what can I do to help you? Because that's what I'm feeling to see in these communities. Everybody is throwing at you everything that you're doing wrong. Nobody has stepped up to say, I'm not going to knock your crown off, Queen. I'm going to straighten it. What can I do to help you? You have me. Thank you, ma'am. Hello, my name is Don. Yeah, it said put money on her commissary. <laughs> First of all, in this very building, Barack Obama stood here. And one thing we never stood here under Frank is race. Black, white, Asian, or Latin, we all got along. So no disrespect to UTO, but we don't do that here. This is our house. And first of all, we understand one thing. When you're doing wrong, you need to be correct. So I only have one question, Ms. Darling Gray. Do you think that the board is doing a good job right now? Frank told me to ask you that. Oh. First of all, I sat with Frank for 30 years. I worked with Frank with his first election. So don't tell me about the third year. And the people that I worked in the cold for to see that they had jobs here. I am ashamed. You know what? You hire people to do their job. And those people are. Make it clear what you're oh, ashamed no, of. No, no. no you don't go. <laughs> First of all, what did I you be ashamed of? And I you're and sitting I here. Love. You were elected by us, the Z team, and you know what we stand for. You're not displaying that, and you know it. What is the Z team standing for? Let her, let her what is, tell me this. You tell me. And Tiffany, you're doing you. such a good job. Uh, no one can contest to you. Frank can't even do that. Let him close to you. I mean, Frank never had his name in the print as many times as you. He's never been on the TV as much as you. We can't even compare to you. Oh, back to you. Answer the question. You're tap dancing out the back door. The question is, do you think that you guys are doing a good job? You can finish your comment now. Go ahead. Darlene, with all due respect, my love for you will never change, but you know where we come from and you know what we stand for, and you're not displaying that. And if I did something wrong, as a young man, you guys would chastise me. I've been with you all for 20 years, and you guys know better. And look at Pepe over there not saying a word. Yeah. 
We ain't gonna mess with Debbie, but one of long set a thousand strong. Injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. When you see something, say something. It's not just a slogan. Now, at the end of the day, who are all that board thinks that they're doing a good job? For Sandra, are you guys doing a good job as a whole? Uh, for the town ship, uh, the city of Sessions office, this is where I'm going to make your statement and move on. Okay, so basically the question wasn't answered. We know what our standards used to be. It's not the same. And we all know what we need to do now. Is that correct? Is everybody here registered to vote? Yeah. Okay, so at the end of the day, make sure everybody has a voter registration card. All this back and forth, all the media. That's red. Over. It's not pink, it's red. It's just showing funny on the yeah. camera. It's actually red. Thank you. <laughs>
questions and comments. I'm going to clear it up. I'm going to turn it. Questions and comments. This is not q and Your original agenda said questions and comments. You need to learn okay. the All right. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. If you would not like to answer, I understand. Because you don't want to answer to anybody. Because you feel like you don't report to nobody. When it concerns your decisions. Share the screen and tag Dalton, bro. see me put the one in the chat Talking to a lot, hey. I'm saying they're sites to everything. They really aren't. They aren't. I would like to sleep on that one smart individual. All I'm saying is 
she so she's crying about LIA can't walking in here with a camera. That's weak shit. Thank you, ma'am. L. That's a whole L. That was a whole L. tactical nuke income. My name is John Dye Brown, and I'm homeless. And with that being said, the young lady that was speaking, the young lady that was speaking, I want her to know that as a man that's advocating, I heard everything that she said. And I'm asking for everybody to be as gentle and kind to the employees who have inherited this mess. We are not trying to attack the employees, but if you be disrespectful, we'll match. And then with that being said, I would like to also make it very clear, we're not here for you. But because you work in this government, understand people's lives are affected by this government. And just like I care about the young lady who spoke, I care about the young lady who He's about to serve it up. Jed, he's watching work. This is his wheelhouse. constitutional duty to report that to the local Las Vegas police advocated that duty so that she can sit there with nice hair and nice clothes and nice bottles of water. He was looking so at I'm Keith Freeman. One employee, I'm going to protect them all. But what I want to do here, because I don't live in this particular area of my homelessness, I want to say this to you too. You have an opportunity as a black woman, as an elected official, to stand on the shoulders of so many of the most disrespected women in the history of this nation. Let's go, Jay. actually create something that would give generations behind you something that they can model after. However, this has been the Tiffany Hidyard show. This is this place is completely pl uh, uh, your face is everywhere. You also, I know you got those those banners inside of the village that you didn't put up yet. You can go in and put them up. We know what you want, but this is the thing. The reason why people should never vote for anything with this administration without knowing the facts is because they got a whole history of trying to hide their corruption. Come on, nobody, Come on Jay. Nobody in good government, not even, especially not a superman, especially not a black woman who understands the role that you have and understands that the history that you're creating, there's going to be another black woman that's going to run and she's going to be looked into the lens of what you do in your government. So when everybody say, oh, this is a black woman, then I'm, we got to think about all black women. Because I know a lot of black women that's going to school right now, they aspire to be exactly the way you were blessed. Yep. You were an illegitimate man. You were recalled by the people. However, you overcame it. That was God giving you an opportunity to make something up and prove them wrong. But exactly what's happening, this is not people that's just distraught to. But the Bible says that when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. And then Dr. Martin Luther King said that unrest is the voice, is the, is the, is the voice of the, those that have not been heard. So what you're dealing with is people trying to figure out how does a man that's homeless come to try to bring awareness to what's going on like a police officer. I have a video of one of your officers yeah. having sex in your jail. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Come on, I'm trying to figure out how does a woman who you know have compromised sensitive investigative Shit. material. How do you have a woman who is unethical in every sense of the word had an ir irresponsible relationship with your former chief no. child? Did it on company time in a company vehicle and left Ooh. the village where she should have been there protecting her. The citizens, she was trying to get her rocks off. This is what I'm trying to figure out. How does that woman become internal affairs for your police department? And Hashtag Shea was a right. Training order today from that woman, and you allow her to be a police officer still in your department. With that being said, let me make it clear. If you're unethical on one side, we gotta watch you on another. So the way you lead as a as a mayor is why we handle you this way as a supervisor. And the best thing you can do with all the controversy is step aside and don't make these people have to go to another thing. Because I'm gonna tell you something. Yes, you're beautiful, and yes, you have done you got, you, you got to, you've done things that people have not done. But your presence is now a harm to these individuals. And then I'm gonna ask you this one simple question because this is what I'm really here for, and I can say so much. Because I tell you, you always give out receipt. I'm trying to figure out if I not one time have you got on anything and spoke to that young woman who said that she was sexually assaulted. I have Woo. seen no empathy from you at not no time. You've not spoken about her. You said you're okay. You talked about what you are doing, but what about what she's been going through for the last year? And I understand, let's not talk about an investigation while I was pending, but it wasn't pending until it was exposed. And she had to do it herself because you betrayed her. So my question now to you is, now that the media 
have put out the name of the accused trustee, Andrew Hall, who is the only trustee who has an office in your building. I'm asking you this question. Are you going to call for his resignation? Are you going to fight or get him removed from office? Are you going to cooperate with a fair, transparent girl investigation into these sexual assault allegations? Are you going to apologize to that girl no. while you want us to be nice to this girl? No. And, that, and, and I'll leave you with this. This isn't personal for me. But I will be releasing everything that I have. And y'all can send everything a piece of paperwork. You can weaponize your police department. And you can look at me all smug. But I'll tell you what I do know. Everybody has their day. And I'm not afraid. So Jedediah is here to stay. Thank you. Okay. Secondly, I feel this township board needs to 
that we don't have. Fellowship or the censor. We need to censor him because he's giving out some information that should not be given People out. People are walking out. You talk about being a People are walking out. Some information that should not be given People out. People are walking out. People are walking out. You are elected by the people to people have certain things not belong Good night. in the public. And you and Mr. Paul put this thing together. Y'all wanted to have this rally and this type of stuff. This is this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You wrote down everything in this township, but you forgot to tell the people too you were in Las Vegas, right? Did you go to Las Vegas? Did you go to Las Vegas? That's a hard question. Did you go to Las Vegas? What's your badge number? Because you violated my First Amendment rights on camera. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. What's your badge number? I don't know. Okay, bet. I got you, sir. I got you, sir. Coward. You're leaving too? Yep. I got what I need. <laughs> you have a good one, sir. I appreciated you tonight. Enjoy you putting in the hours. Thank you, sir. I can never stay online that long, no. <laughs> oh, you actually know who I am? Well, of course. What? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. If you had more time, you could make it a shorter show. I probably could. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shorten this one up, I promise you. Okay. Yep. Stop doing <laughs> I catch one of you niggas following me, you know what time it is. Nigga, the village adult walked out. I'm with the village adult. That's just all there is to it. You got a problem with that? LIA still in there. Shout out to Long Island Audits. Oh, Shay out. I see the play. We'll talk shortly. We will talk shortly. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say hello. Hey, Morris, I got something for your bitch ass, nigga. Punk motherfucker. And that's not a physical threat, because I would never threaten a, a police officer ever. Why would I ever do some shit like that? I got what I needed. Them niggas, first of all, them niggas turn the fucking heat up, bro. They turn the heat up. Everybody over there started fanning. I saw people in the crowd start fanning. Then my phone started overheating. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Carefully, I will be talking again in a moment. Just let me make sure I'm, um, you know, being safe and whatnot. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so dig, man. Hit the like button, first of all. 
I got what I needed. That shit was about to get really ugly. And some people that were leaving gave me a certain look. I wasn't asking questions. I wasn't flagging nobody down. Nigga, I left. Just that simple. People I trusted. People I trusted wasn't fucking with it. So, you ain't got to tell me twice. I'll get the rest. There's people there. I'll get the rest. Because, nigga, I will. Look, I tried to tell y'all. I know y'all wasn't trying to hear me, but I tried to tell y'all. I knew the Jedediah play. And that's why I was trying to tell y'all. He in his wheelhouse on this one. Just sit back. Just sit back. I fuck. I, bro, I fuck with Jed the long way. I don't like the way he do a lot of shit. And he ain't, you know, justice for Alexis Wilson, nigga. Fuck that place, nigga. Justice for Alexis Wilson. First of all, put the justice in the... Le for, justice for Alexis Wilson. Just spam that shit in the chat right now. I don't want to talk. I just drove past Bob, so I don't want to talk right now. So, just do that for me. Can you do that? If not, get the fuck out right now. Punk, bitch. I don't, I don't I don't think there were any more comments after Michael Smith anyway unless somebody unless y'all saw on LIA that you know that was that's not true that's how I saw it and then telling y'all saw some looks so I was like I ain't fucking with it. you said Trina is up there I had to go. I just had to. I had to for my safety. I had to just leave. I got I got what I need to get. I'll get the rest from others that are there. Them niggas, them niggas violated my civil rights multiple fucking times, nigga. That fat fucking punk bitch motherfucker. That's why Morris didn't want to give me his badge number, punk bitch. That's why I told that stupid ass nigga. I'm like, nigga, you do understand that that this nigga was dumb enough to violate my civil rights because a motherfucker told him to. And then gonna tell me, man, I'm just doing my job. I don't give a shit, nigga. And he, bro, and multiple, I want us, again, shout out the village of Dalton. They weren't going for that. The obstructing of my cameras, you found out that shit, you found out that shit wasn't cool, didn't you? You found out that shit wasn't all G. This is why that nigga, I didn't violate your rights. Did not tell y'all on motherfucking camera. Did not tell that nigga on camera that that's what that cop was going to do. Did not say it on cam. I told that nigga to his face. I'm like, bro, this nigga's getting ready to tell. They're going to tell you to violate my rights, bro. Okay. <laughs> and after you violate my rights, <laughs> they are going to throw you under the bus and say they never, they didn't have nothing to do with that. That was shit you did on your own. And what the fuck happened? I run down on Morris, bitch ass. Hey, nigga, let me get your name and badge number, you punk bitch. Oh, my name's Morris. What's your badge number? Oh, what do you need my badge number for? Nigga, because your punk ass violated my civil rights. You and Keith Freeman got both you whole ass niggas on tape. I got gold in the trunk, nigga. I can leave. I left with a treasure of gold. I'm going viral on your head, Keith Freeman. Thank you for violating my rights, you pussy ass nigga. You couldn't even stand up to Jed. None of you niggas could stand up to me. Oh, you gotta leave. Did I motherfucking leave, bitch? Did I leave? No. I left when I was good and damn ready. Ain't that right, Lacey, you fat bitch? Hey, Lacey. Lacey, I, I wanna break the internet right quick. I'll break it later, too. Hey, hey, somebody make sure you let Hannibal know. Police Chief Lewis Lacey is illiterate, nigga. Let me say it again, because they think I'm lying. Chief Lewis Lacey can't read. 
This is not anything but the truth. This ain't a joke. I'm not roasting. Chief Lacey is actually illiterate. You stupid bitch. I saw you in there with that old ass FUBU jersey on trying to look cool, nigga. Don't nobody wear FUBU no more, you goofy motherfucker. Is that the jersey y'all said that nigga always be wearing? Tell me that wasn't that jersey. Is that the jersey that everybody like, man, Chief Lacey always wearing that jersey when you You fat fucker. You, I wish I played sports face ass fucker. How your dumb ass can't read? You the motherfucking police chief. Tiffany, they flame that fucking weave right off your oof. Toasty! They flame that weave right off the top of your motherfucking head, nigga. Oh no! The big woo woo, nigga. D O T T S. He didn't know what the fuck to do. Uh, did, 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 did you go to Vegas? 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 And you, county assessor, nobody elected you in that seat. Nobody elected Tiffany, you stupid bitch. Did you go to Vegas? That's going on the soundboard. Oh, did you go to Vegas? Did you go to Vegas? Did you go to Vegas? Weak ass niggas. Try that tough shit out of Dalton. I keep telling you weak ass niggas this. All you gotta do is try that shit out of Dalton, bro. You can't. You can't even pull that shit in South Holland. Hey, shout out to security guard Otis. Security guard Otis didn't do or say a motherfucking thing to me. But NBA young boy, you little ugly black bitch, you dark skinned whore, you. I'm talking to you. NBA young boy, the bitch with the bob wig, you, you ugly bitch. You look like Stan Brown. You look like Stan Brown with a wig, you bitch. I'ma just stand right here. Bitch, shut the fuck up, stupid hoe. Yeah, but when Jedediah turned up, I wanna thank Jedediah from the bottom of my motherfucking heart. This nigga ran the greatest interference of all time. We got a clear shot because of Jedediah Brown. Period. End of story. End of discussion. We don't have to agree on shit. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. Multiple, I won't put any names. Multiple people stood up for my First Amendment rights. I want to stand, I want to give a shout out to Long Island Otis for being there with a fucking camera, having my fucking six, whether you was doing it on purpose or not. Irrelevant. I thank you from the bottom of my motherfucking heart. Without Long Island Otis, without Jedediah Brown, I could not provide the coverage that I did. End of story. No need to grandstand. I got my content. Ain't that right, Thief Freeman, you punk bitch? Y'all see me make that bitch ass nigga run? Yeah, nigga, I got your whole ass on camera running like the bitch you are. Y'all see that shit? You see when I put the camera in his fucking face and he ran like the coward he is? Yeah, that shit, that shit falling down, nigga. That shit falling down. D Freeman go, D Freeman act like I can't hear. Yeah, go over there and block, block that camera, you know. He can't, that nigga gonna say, he can't be in here, he's media. Hey, so where do I get my media badge at? You should have saw the way these stupid bitches was looking at, huh? You stupid motherfuckers, where the fuck I get it at? And then you got the nerve, then you got the nerve, you got the motherfucking audacity to be wearing a motherfucking freedom hat. They just so your bitch ass niggas know, I could have moved a long time ago. I'm all about proving points. Nah, yeah, I'm plugged enough to skirt around the civil rights, of viol civil rights violations, but why flex? I don't need to. I'd rather show this fat ass nigga with his hot dog stuck up under that freedom sign. Talk about some motherfucking freedom. You niggas lost your motherfucking mind. Unrivaled coverage. 
do the unrivaled research because I got a motherfucking unrivaled squad. Shout out to the Dalton trustees. Uh oh. I'm something like an OG on the third. We just waiting to make sure that we can override Vito. Tiffany, you took a bath tonight, bitch. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Hey, and I'm gonna tell y'all something. Breaking news. Let me tell y'all something she said when the camera went out one time. <laughs> Cause I know y'all didn't hear it, nigga. She said, "Hey, I still love y'all, even when y'all coming out here getting all my all the shit that I offer." Like, <laughs> she was basically like, "I love y'all, even though y'all come steal my my motherfucking money." Basically talking about the town shit money. Own everything, bro. She's like, yeah, I, you know, even though y'all, you know, y'all feel the way y'all be feeling about me, I'm gonna still, you know, I still be paying y'all, y'all uh, bills and, you know, basically like, you know, the uh, hand-me-down shit, if you will, like the, any type of, any type of shit that they would help. She classifying that like her own money. Like my phone down there about to die. If it spins, it's because my phone died, but I'll be back shortly. Unless I can find a cord. I think I did. Unbelievable, bro. Unbelievable. We got power. Crisis averted. I don't have to agree with Jedediah's tactics. I, here's what my honest opinion about Jedediah is. His heart's in the right place. He just don't know how to move correctly all the time. But when he gets in his wheelhouse, he's, it's hard to fuck with him. See, that type of shit works against Tiffany. Because that the way Jedediah talks is the way that Tiffany wished that she talked. Let me say that again. The way that Jedediah talks is the way that Tiffany wishes she talked. Man, shut the fuck up, bitch. I don't even fucking know you. Get the fuck off my, you left too early. How much money did you donate to the channel? And how long have you been subscribed? You didn't donate shit and you ain't been subscribed long? You ain't even hit the like button? Just shut the fuck up, bitch. I don't see your whole ass out here, nigga. Shut the fuck up. I didn't like it, so I left because I promised people around me that if I ain't like it, I was leaving. Fuck you, niggas. Ain't none of you niggas gonna watch my shit tomorrow? No way, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. I don't give a shit. You left too early. Fuck you, nigga. I still got eyes and ears all through that motherfucker, which is why I can leave. Anybody else got something else smart to say? Anybody else? No? No? That's what the fuck I thought. Motherfucker just spent motherfucker five, six hours in that motherfucking. Bro, they, they had it so fucking hot in there, nigga. They literally turned the heat on. Both times when my phone fucked up, my phone overheated. Long Island had to take his hood down. That nigga was in there incognito and had to he had to loosen his shit up a little bit. People was in there fanning and shit. They tried to fucking heat people out. This stupid Keith Freeman stupid ass told this nigga, I heard him. Nigga, you can't be media. And then, hey, hey, here's the best part. Let me tell you how dirty. Let me tell you how dirty they did Mr. Freedom, Freedom Dog. Freedom Frank. Yeah, that's what I'm calling it, nigga. Freedom Frank. Nigga, let me tell you how they did Freedom Frank. This stupid ass nigga. So when when Morris comes over there and is like, yeah, you gotta leave. You can't be here. The fuck you mean I can't be here? This nigga said, well, this nigga's like, where are you media? So he was asked, like, where are you media? I got on a fucking LNC hat and I got my LNC backpack. I said, nigga, I got a whole press bag right here. What the fuck you talking about? Well, you need credentials. Where do I get the credentials from? 
Shout out to let me uh, let me make sure I say this right. First of all, remember our remember our boy from the Lansing Journal that um, interviewed Chris Gonzalez. Remember him and we reviewed his video. That's my nigga. That nigga stood the fuck up and said, "Nigga, you ain't no, he ain't going nowhere." Shout out to him and shout out to Eric Crump from the Homewood Flossmoor Chronicle. I fuck with them heavy. Fuck the mainstream media, nigga. You bitch ass niggas just stood there. That's why I put the channel 32 nigga on blast. This nigga come in with a yellow t-shirt and just sit a tripod down. I'm like, so is this nigga media? Where the fuck is his badge? And this nigga gonna shrug his shoulders. But let me tell you how they did Freedom Frank, because I got sidetracked. Let me tell you how they did this fat fuck. When they tell me to leave and I go, nigga, I'm not going nowhere. Everybody heard me say that. I'm not going anywhere. Did Shay go anywhere? Okay, so just understand I'm a bitch ass nigga. Now that we got that part clear, the three of them are huddled up. The three of them are huddled up. Freeman tells Freedom Frank to go tell me. He tells him, hey, go tell him that we trying to figure this out. And I know y'all heard when that nigga came to the car, was like, yeah, yeah, we just trying to figure this out right now. I'm like, okay. Well, guess what they were doing when he was doing that? That's when they came up with the idea that they will make him violate my civil rights so that way it's him. He's just a security guard. So they get, when they think he's the police, he's not really... So, nigga, y'all think I'm stupid. What you thought I was going to make a video? Oh, self hauling police violated my rights. No, you did, Keith. You pussy. You a bitch, nigga. Hey, Keith, you know what else I know it's about Keith Freeman? Keith Freeman done lost a lot of weight. <laughs> Keith, what happened? You look like you lost a lot of weight, cuz. Yeah. You looking slim. You looking slim, nigga. Jedediah ran down on your bitch ass and you couldn't even handle it, nigga. Y'all niggas had no control. None. None. Y'all sent the security guard because y'all was scared of me, nigga. It's on video. Y'all sent the secure. I showed y'all the nigga where his badge was supposed to go. It was empty. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, Day Day and Craig had badges, nigga. Day Day and Craig both had a badge, nigga. This nigga was badgeless, nigga. Get your badgeless ass over there and violate that nigga rights. Sir, you're 30 and 30, retarded ass nigga. Get over there and violate his rights. 30 and 30, you stupid motherfucker. Fucking goofball. I watched these niggas on camera. I watched these niggas set this nigga up. And this nigga went for it. And I, you heard me tell him. I was like, nigga, they gonna but And you heard me call him out when, when Miss Mary was roasting his ass. I'm like, nigga, she talking about you. Don't look around, nigga. She talking about you, nigga. Don't look around. She talking about you. This nigga gonna start looking around. Nigga, I'm the only person with a nigga. I'm 5'8". They gonna put this big 6'4 nigga in front of me. I'm sorry, man. Ain't nothing. Move your fat ass out the way, bitch. But then I did the old Jim Halpert trick. What's the Jim Halpert trick? When Jim Halpert, I believe he did something like he took one piece out of something of Dwight's every day so Dwight wouldn't notice the weight distribution of it being gone. I did the same thing to this nigga. I kept moving to the right by like half a centimeter. I just kept moving, just slightly to the, just slightly kept moving, slightly kept moving. And then once he got there, bam, I moved back to the left. And then when he moved back to the left, nigga, he was stuck. Cause nigga, he got, cause now, shout out, shout out to uh, your boy from Lansing Journal. Now I'm like crowded with them. And then he getting in front of their shit. And they like, hey, hey, this nigga, this, for whatever reason, I wonder why. Hey, Tiffany, I would still fuck. After all of that, after all of my rights being violated, I'm still down to fuck. DTF, bitch. DTF. But I don't want to fuck you in Dalton because you're not from there. Come on up to the city. Come on up to the city so I can fuck you there. I ain't fucking you in Dalton. I would never disrespect the residents like that. Yeah, I'll fuck you in Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like the plan. You can get fucked in Chicago if you want it. But this is only if you want it, man. You know, I'm all about consent. 
This is the last thing I need. Oh my God, he said, what, bro? You ain't, ain't no nigga ever had to beg you for no pussy. Stop playing with me. Niggas beg you for pussy? You? Since when? They begging you for pussy? <laughs> Shit, where the fuck these niggas come from? These goofy ass niggas, man. Nigga, I'm all types of mad right now, nigga. Hey, that's why the crowd was chanting municipality, you stupid bitch. I did that. Look at the nigga who made that shit pop, bitch. Me. We a whole village. We a whole municipality. They booed your bitch ass. Boo. Boo. And I still love y'all. Boo. And I still boo. And I still boo, boo, boo. Boo. I got it on films. Did you get that on films? I got that on films. They booed the fucking shit out of you. Boo this bitch. Boo. Well, let me go get some gas before I get really pissed off. Hit the like button, bro. Or nigga, go over there and stand with Lacey in that FUBU jersey. One of the two. Do what you want to do, bro. Get the fuck on. Y'all some hoes, bro. I'm, I'm so fucking pissed off. I'm heated, bro. I'm heated. I'm so, so heated. Um, can I get, can I get two packs of green swishers, please? Pretty please. And can I get 20 on seven? Yes, sir. Oh, snaps. I don't know what I was doing. Appreciate you, sir. Yep, yep. No, keep that right on. I wish I could tell y'all the whole play of everything. I just can't. And the main reason I can't is I'm trying to win. It's very important for me to win now. Y'all know how I get, bro. I'm very good. I'm fucking pissed off, bro. I didn't want to go, but I had to. I didn't want to, but I had to. The night stream's gonna be fun. Yeah. I got some stories to tell. Hey, Keith Freeman. I'm not going back anywhere. Do not say that to me again anybody I uh, yeah I'm on one right now I don't want to hear anybody telling me where I should be because you don't even know where I'm at nobody even knows where I'm at so how the fuck do you want to tell me where I should be I'm I'm, I'm pretty upset right now But I don't even get it all bent. I don't even give a fuck about all y'all niggas on the internet because y'all niggas want to see me get killed. It'd be great content. If a motherfucker just ran up right now and blew my fucking head out, nigga, it'd be great content, wouldn't it? It'd be, it'd be awesome content. You, you, you feel awesome. You, and I'd be a real one, won't I? <laughs> 
Uh, block, block that motherfucker. Get the fuck out of my channel, bitch. Shut the fuck up. I did not tell you stop talking to me like you know me, nigga. You don't fucking know me. Don't be giving me no fucking suggestions. Do you know how my business is set up, nigga? You don't run shit, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Don't be giving me no suggestions, bitch. You should get a press cut, press badge under your company. Shut up, bitch. You don't know what the fuck I got under my company. I just got my fucking civil rights violated, but as always, that's how y'all niggas are. Y'all niggas are always like, man, just do what the fucking police say, even if they violate your rights. Nigga, you can go do that whole shit. You go suck police dick. I won't. I really, I, I, bro. Bro, this is why I only roll with a chosen few. This is why I don't do shit for clout. This is why I don't do shit for likes or anything. People don't give a fuck if you die. I got a two-year-old son at home and a 14-year-old daughter at home waiting on me. Literally, waiting on me. And and, and, and I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do some shit that I don't feel like doing. To make you happy, suck my dick, nigga. What part of I don't do this? You, I don't do this shit for money. I don't do this shit for clout. I do it cause I can. I do it cause I'm God's son. So shut the fuck up, you bitch ass nigga. None of you bitch ass niggas is tough enough to talk that shit about all them niggas and walk in that bitch like I did. And guess what? When I walked in there, there was no LIA. There was no nobody. There was no anybody, nigga. It was just me. And you saw the niggas motherfucking try to intimidate me. And I stood on motherfucking business. I don't have shit to prove to anybody. I stood on motherfucking business, nigga. And this nigga just ran the red light in the most unbelievable way possible. Y'all saw that car that just went past me? That's the other side of the road. It just passed me in two cars at the stoplight. Hey, get it, get it. Bro, y'all thought I was... Did y'all really think I was going to get out of there without saying something to that bitch-ass nigga? I was only leaving. My, my next question... Whether or not I was staying was my next question until they came up with their little plan. Their plan where, hey, you dumb. And, and you know why Keith Freeman came up with that plan? Because Keith Freeman's the dumb motherfucker. He's, he's freedom frank to Tiffany. Tiffany makes his dumb ass violate people's rights. Yeah, just go over there and violate this shit. Yes, ma'am. Ass niggas acting like I'm not the one. Nigga, I'm the one, nigga. I went to Dalton. Through Dalton. I didn't show up late. Hide. I nigga, I went, nigga, when I got there, I went and talked to the police. Where the fuck the press go in? I was the first member of the press in there. No, I was no, I take that back. Was I? Yeah, I was. I was. And then Lansing Journal and um Crump, they were utterly amazing, great journalists. They had my back, and, you know, I just move better than you niggas, even when I'm live. I'm always one step ahead. I know you niggas is watching now. Yeah. Now, here's the, now, here's the great part. Do I sue the shit out of you? Because I'm a decently sized YouTuber now. I can easily get, you know, another YouTuber or something that, you know, practices law, you know, like the civil rights guy, you know, DUI guy, civil rights lawyer, DUI guy, you know, Justin Pulliam. You know, there's literally people I can help. And here's the best part about it. I already contribute to their channel, so they would probably want to help me. So which one of you hoes want to get sued? I'm not suing Thornton Township, and I'm not suing the village. I just want to sue you niggas. See, I'm not trying to get rich. Mm-mm. No. See, to get rich, I got to sue the city. I got to sue cities and municipalities and shit. I ain't trying to do that. Trina Downs, them niggas tried to intimidate me the whole way. And, and, them niggas was closing in on me. I saw Lacey move. Lacey repositioned himself. 
And I think them niggas was gonna try try something with me. I don't what I don't know. But and the main reason why I felt it is because they knew they knew my stream was going out. I want you to know, like half the fucking room was watching the shit. So since my stream wasn't working right, yeah, it felt like they was gonna try some shit. So I can't be in there with dying battery. Like I can't be in there with my phone dying, but I can't charge it because my phone's overheating because it's hot as shit in there. It's just told catch 22, bro. Gotta roll. I gotta make smart choices and smart decisions, bro. I'm not out here to prove my bravado. My bravado was proven the moment I got off the plane and pulled up in the village, nigga. And Dr. Scott, I will be pulling up. Dr. Scott has requested my presence. So we gonna make that shit happen. And what and here's what I'll say about Jedediah. I'm gonna tell you this. The nigga was moving different and he had people there. And he called me earlier. I missed his call. But I found out what he wanted. I, I got word, bro. I got word. See? Shay not so bad, is he? A hero's reward. all worth it at least I know Long Island got itself so shit nigga Long Island oh they had them two phones that nigga walked up the Long Island nigga Long Island said, hey man don't touch me that nigga never tried to touch me he didn't even want no smoke he bro I'm like nigga you and then I'm like all right bro that my favorite part was Keith Freeman realizing I was sitting there. Nigga, I did it. I wish you would have saw how I did it. I made sure he knew I was doing it. I picked the whole ass tripod up, turned and held that bitch out in front of me with two hands. I made that shit so loud, nigga. That nigga ran into the fucking back like the pussy he is. D-O-T-T-S, nigga, shut your whole ass up, nigga. I, I bro. I, <laughs> Chief Lacey whole ass. Morris, look, they were skeleton thin, and they didn't want no smoke. Understand, that crowd, anti-Tiffany. Tiffany took a fucking L. When y'all heard them boo, that was not pipe noise. They were really booing like that, nigga. I was shocked. I did not expect it. They booed her again when she started talking about, oh, yeah, well, I, you know, even though... Even though y'all mad at me, I'm going to still provide service to, to y'all. That's basically what she said. <laughs> they booed the fuck out of her. She was like, <laughs> she was like, even though y'all, even though I still love y'all and I'm going to still provide service, isn't it? Boo! Boo! Nigga, Hannibal. Lacey was in there in this motherfucking 1999 FUBU jersey. That had to be a FUBU jersey. That motherfucker looked musty. He looked like he just got done playing in it, except he fat. So I know he did. This nigga, it looked like he had dirt from him sliding the home on that motherfucker. Like, damn, nigga. This goofy ass, bro, that shit was, uh, that shit was, bro, they was getting annoyed, and I, bro, I'm gonna tell you something that made me nervous. Nigga, if somebody had really got going, like, nigga, I thought, nigga, who's the department head? Like, Hannibal, I know you know, bro. The department head, is it more? The nigga that wear the glasses and the spider? He always got that black widow on his jacket? The only jacket that nigga wear? Him. That was who they was like. Hey, security, get up here. He just hit that woman. I said, nigga, what? Yeah, they said more hit that bitch. They said more hit her. I was like, what? I, I didn't know. 
talk about catching a nigga off guard. I was not prepared for that. And I don't I don't know how. I don't know what. Keith Freeman went over there and basically like vouched it all away, if you will. That was the shit that was crazy for me. It was kind of like Keith Freeman vouched. It was like, oh yeah, uh, yeah, we be doing shit like that. Because I, I did not understand how Wiedemann stopped like that, said what she said, and no, that's how I know it was Tiffany's fucking goon. Tiffany and Wiedemann, damn, they're getting ready to get in fight. This is a true fucking story tonight, bro. True fucking story. I'm coming back. I'm gonna come back enough to where I'm expecting to go to jail at some point. But I want y'all to understand something. <laughs> I got plenty of people in Dalton that I can call to get out. That's not the play this time. I did not like how the Knicks was moving and my phone. That shit just was not, that shit just did not play how I needed it to play. The end, at least. This shit closed down here. I mean, and again, bro, this is where y'all be blowing me sometimes. Like, I'm trying to understand what, what it, like, I'll let that one go. I just be seeing stuff in the meeting sometimes, just be like, I'm just more up than anything. Uh, I'm, I'm, I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of shitty. I'm shitty about a couple small things. But just, I don't, I, bro, I've been there now, okay? I've been to both meetings. She, she's, she has to go to prison at the end of this, okay? And, and here's why I feel confident enough to say this. Of all the meetings and shit I've been to, these last two meetings were hands down the most devastating meetings she has ever had. I don't think we can, I don't think we can deny that at all okay Lacey was missing all week this nigga Lacey was missing all week nigga missing Tiffany was missing all week I sat down in Pablo's today word on the street is <laughs> Word on the street is certain certain people can't get in with certain items because certain people don't fuck with certain places. Mm. That's a riddle if I ever heard one. I am um uh, I'm thankful. I thank God for answering my and everyone's prayer for protection. You know, 
Definitely want protection on the way home. But, you know, I know a lot of people were nervous for me tonight. I know there's a lot of people that ain't said shit in the chat that really worry about my safety. And I didn't want, I didn't want to leave when I did, but conditions dictated such a thing. So I had to, I had to do the right thing. I had to do the smart thing. Because I, I don't even, I didn't even have my, and then the other thing is, I think I left the trap phone at the crib. I didn't even have my burner phone. I didn't expect that shit to go so late. That was the other thing. It was going to, I, I didn't want to be, I don't know Southland like that. I don't know South, Southland. I'm still calling it that now I'm even here. You know why I call it Southland? Because my wife's mom's church is called Southland. So every time I think of South Holland, I accidentally call it Southland. Yeah, LIA, he, he's definitely playing with fire. But again, I don't know what LIA got set up or anything. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't I don't know what his infrastructure situation is like. And I, that's not in any way it is. I'm just saying, like. Yeah, I'm not looking for no viral moment and you know, like I can't explain that to my family. I can't explain it to my friends. Well, why'd you do it? Because I felt like I could, I could get maybe some more views and shit. Nigga, I'm demonetized anyway. I didn't make a fucking dollar from any of this shit. <laughs> now, obviously if I got donations, man, shout out to all the people who care enough about the, the work and shit we do to keep, you know, keep the lights on while we are fighting demonetization from covering the very same thing. So yeah. So yeah, I have to think about shit like, damn, are my kids watching me get my rights violated on camera? Because I do care about shit like that because I, I, I don't, I'm not an auditor, okay? I'm not an auditor. I am Shay. I'm Shay. Um, I ain't no media. I ain't none of this. I'm Shay. Does Shay, in fact. Tell them motherfuckers you guys, son. Niggas don't care. I want to shout out all my people who fuck with me heavy. I said that I would do it, including make smart. And that's the first time I ever left out of somewhere like that. It just it was not safe for me in the situation I was in. Well, I don't want to say that's a little strong. It didn't feel safe for me in that situation. And then when I saw a couple people, like a few people that like, I kind of feel good that y'all there. Once I saw them kind of leave out, like, I think I got to go. There ain't nothing to talk about. I am. I got to go. I'm about to go park. So I can hop out the car for a second. Mama Higgins, I thought, what is going on? How, what's up, Mama Higgins? How are you this evening? Mama Higgins, I didn't go to jail, so you should be proud. These niggas thought they could target me. So, oh, just for the record, Thornton Township watches LNC confirmed that old white man that was standing up barring him out yeah apparently he watches the show the amount of people that actually watch the show is outrageous i got bro i got the senior citizens on lock bro fuck with me you know i'll be smoking that reefer with you too come on then we about to roll come on bro dalton y'all better be rolling up nigga the fuck Trina, I want to thank you for making it so I can have the greatest flight in the world when I go home. <laughs> Stop that one.
when I was talking to him, I swear I was just being cordial and nice, leaving out. And then he started saying shit. I'm like, wait, you know who I am? Yeah. Wait, what? So I ain't, I ain't used to it, nigga. And neither is Dalton. <laughs> oh, and when I say Dalton, I'm talking about Tiffany Henry. Tiffany Henry took one of the biggest. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I saw Long, Long Island. He made an appearance on stream. I mean, not willingly, but <laughs> he did. And I don't mean it like that. I didn't, you know, if I wanted to talk to him, I, I would have tried to talk to him. But and when I say I didn't want to talk to him, it's not like I don't have no beef with him. Just you know, me and him do different things. We're not doing the same shit. That's why I really appreciated him just being there when that shit was popping off. Cause him and Jedediah were mad late, bro. <laughs> Them niggas was outrageously late. So you know how that shit go. She said my leg was shaking. I was like, what the fuck do I need a kickstand? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I had to go. I had to I had actually pulled a burgundy blue commentary. But that's why if okay, for the record, nigga, if I was the only nigga there. I, bro, I was just gonna, I was gonna, uh, I was gonna take that L. You feel what I'm saying? I was gonna take that L. But I wasn't. That's why I could make such a, what I felt like was a good, good decision in that moment. You feel me? Ooh, the videos I'm gonna make when I get home. The videos I'm gonna make when I get home. Y'all niggas really violated my rights on camera. Y'all did that? And it wasn't even Otis? I just knew when I walked in that building, if anybody was gonna violate my rights on camera, it's gonna be all Otis. Otis. Otis didn't even get up, nigga. Just for the record, Otis never got up. Otis was not getting mad tonight. No matter, no matter how contentious that shit got, Otis never got his fat ass up. Hey Trina, you already know how I'm gonna do though. You know I got you. I'm gonna get your shit and I'm gonna play it in its entirety on this channel. You know how I do. So anybody like, damn, Shay didn't get my shit, and I that I ain't even saying that's what Tr Trina was on. I'm just saying that's what I'm on. I'm some people here shortly. I couldn't fuck with it. That shit, uh, that shit didn't feel right. That shit didn't feel like my phone all fucked up. Phone was fucked up. Phone. Oh, I'm so. I'm. What time is it? Is all no, all hope ain't lost for my day. It's only it ain't even ten o'clock. So ain't ten o'clock yet, so yes indeedy, bro. For sure, for sure, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. What's good, man? So we gonna wait and see y'all. It's a wonderful day.
Quirk, quirky nigga, and I'm gonna stay there. You know why? Cause the whole village fuck with me the way I am. I'm changing who I am for nobody, bro. I I just be wanting people to understand. You shouldn't change who you are for nobody. Jedediah. I think his mission tonight. I don't know what his exact mission was. I think his mission tonight was chaos. What, you won't smoke? No, you don't want smoke, Mr. Coon. Matter of fact, when I go inside, I'm going to play train of speech because I can pull it up. <laughs> I, uh, he was on a chaos mission tonight. And he picked the right night for it. That's why I was like, let him cook. I saw, like, I've seen him in that mode. Time I've seen him in that mode since I've known him, quote unquote, he's been wrong. He, he's used it at the wrong time. This was the time for it. Everybody was ready for that shit. Nigga, bro, they was combative. They were combative. Them booze were not piped. Audible boost. Trina, did it feel like it was getting hotter in there? I don't you know, no undershirt on. I don't get hot in this shirt. This is not a shirt I get hot in. Man, her, nigga, her lawyer look, bro. Yo, God, I ain't never looked at that no motherfucking meat, nigga. Delgado never looked like that, bro. She was like, she was like, so dig. Tried to, I did not tell y'all. Hashtag Shay was right. Break the, Shay, uh, the LNC exclusive. Thanks to Chris Gonzalez. Chris Gonzalez put us on game. Oh, man, what's wrong with my stand? Oh, okay. Chris Gonzalez put us on game. That uh, they was going to try to fuck with them comments. So apparently Tiffany made a massive mistake. She made a massive mistake. The, the mistake they made was when they dropped the agenda two weeks ago, the agenda said questions and, and questions and comments. So apparently today, them niggas try to double back and send out some new shit on some. Yeah, it's just it's just comments today. It's just public comment. There ain't no questions. Cause she asked that bitch. She's like, "Yo, so what's up?" She was like, "So what's up?" You know, um, you know, basically, what are you doing? You know, more or less, like, what, what are you doing? I don't know that nigga in the red. Who was that dude in the all red suit, Trina? If you can say, if he don't like to be known like that, don't say. But he seemed like he don't care. That's the nigga I saw last night that I thought was old dude. It wasn't old dude, it was him. That's who I saw last night when, when I was like, what? I was like, I think that was old dude. Shout out to Weedeman. I owe you a drink. Don Cor, Don Cor Parker. Don Cor had them bars, my nigga. Can we break my sixes up, please? Can we can we get the sixes at least to 670, bro? Please, for me. I just had to leave Demon Time. But I'm getting ready to try to see what's what. Is the motherfucking meeting even over yet? Is it over yet? He gave them the Z team? I knew that was some shameful shit. You knew how I knew? Because he was saying some shit that I really didn't understand, like the Z-Team shit. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, y'all mad, awkwardly quiet. Nigga, Chris Gonzalez was sitting back. Chris Gonzalez was damn near lit the blunt. He forgot he was at the motherfucking, he forgot he was at a council meeting or the board meeting. That nigga leaned back, put the blunt in his mouth. Oh, shit, I forgot where I was at. 
That nigga was just chilling. <laughs> Chris Gonzalez was getting ready to light up the drove. Don Cor has to Trina. They was a it was a it was a it was a level of calm that he brought as soon as he stood up. And I saw when Dots came in, I'm like, here we fucking go. He come in late. This is what kills me about him. Just so y'all know how off the hook he is, let me tell you about this bitch ass nigga Dots. Obviously, I was there and I was on the ground, so I can tell you. He comes so when you you know them stairs. You know when you you've seen Thornton, most of y'all in here have seen Thornton Township on video. You know when you come in and you go past that desk. I showed y'all the fly, I showed her showed y'all her on the thing. You go in and you know you go downstairs and you go upstairs. They had it downstairs where it was more room today, right? But if you remember, remember when Tyrant Terminator went downstairs and it's that table right there, and then he turned and went into that room? That table wasn't there. That where that table was, that's where we were standing. That's where they put media. Okay. Cool. I'm standing there, so every time somebody comes down the stairs, I see them. I see, and I'm looking because I kept seeing the police trying to do shit, and then they was like they was gonna fuck with Jed, and they somebody went and told it. Like I think motherfucker LIA may have went over there and checked them, or he went like. Jedediah was on full dis Jedi look, I'ma tell you what Jedediah was doing. He was daring niggas to get buck because he got something. He he was trying, bro. What it nigga? If you've been following my channel, put the hashtag of what I'ma do if a motherfucker hit me. Put it in the chat. If you know what I'ma do if a motherfucker put their hands on me on camera, what I'ma do? Only, only the real LNC know. Only the real LNC know, bro. Only the real know, bro. I'ma flop like motherfucking LeBron all over that motherfucker. Nigga, I'd have went through tables. They was like, damn, them, them niggas might have killed Shay. I'd have fucked them Dalton people up. They didn't even know I got that in me. They had no idea. Had that nigga put his hands on me, I was, nigga, I was tearing up news cameras. I was flying into everything, nigga. I was flying into, nigga. I was tearing all them cameras up. Oh, nigga, we, nigga, it was going to be, you know how I'm wrestling, when they all get in the pile and one nigga just jump from the top rope and lay everybody down, that's what it was going to look like. I was, I was clearing that bitch out on my mama I was. And if you day one, you know I ain't lying. You know that's how I do. Them niggas that put their fucking hands on me, I was tearing everything up, nigga, on my mama. It was like, nigga, I was standing by half a million dollars worth of equipment. I was going through that. Half a million dollars equipment, a nigga was going through that. I never took a step back, and he never took a step forward. I think he kind of thought, he was like, yeah, you little midget ass nigga, I'm going to stand here because I'm 6'4", and, you know. And then this nigga, he would do shit like this. This nigga would go. I'm like, man, just, you idiot. Look how stupid you look. I never heard of that nigga. Thief Freeman? <laughs> A nigga getting ready to do some time, as far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm concerned. Hold on. Who had a gun? Who had a gun? Who you talking about, Smitty? Let me let me tell y'all something. Trainer, Keith Freeman is the key. I... Have I lied to you yet, Trainer? Do you do you believe me when I tell you something? And and you know that if I'm wrong, I will come back and tell you. I know something you don't know. I know something you don't, bro. 
If you knew what I knew, Trina, I swear for Lord. So let's talk about something else. You know what I can't stand? I can't stand motherfucking snitches, bro. I probably don't, Trina. I wouldn't, I, I, hey, just so you know, Trina, I don't doubt you. You know I don't doubt you. You know I'm one only, bro, bro a lot of people, a lot of people, don't, bro, I didn't understand what, what was really the problem with Trina getting up? Didn't y'all end up doing the same thing after she sat down? Or did I, or, or did I miss? Yeah, I wonder how many people gonna snitch on Diddy. I wonder how many people gonna snitch on Diddy. Keep freeing. Guess what I get to show everybody tomorrow? I get to show everybody Jedediah snatching your soul. I get to show everybody you violate my civil rights. I get to show everybody that I'm God's son. Shay, what did you think about Tiffany going off on her own staff? The lady, the table. Look, like, uh, they were not prepared. The best way I can tell you is they they were not prepared. They, they were not prepared. Shout out to the assessor, Thornton Township assessor. I didn't get to meet her. I really wanted to meet her. I live a pretty special life. Pretty, pretty special. Pretty, pretty special. You feel me? That's all I could do. I'm like, I think I think y'all. Here's what I'm open the floor for questions. Okay. We got about 600 people in here. I'm about to open the floor for questions. Let me say this about Jed, real quick. My problem was, you're not doing this shit to Tiffany. That was my only problem. You're not doing this shit to Tiffany. You ain't doing this shit to Tiffany, bro. That's how I feel. He did that shit to Tiffany, nigga. A lot of y'all. The number one complaint I heard from niggas... He ain't do he ain't, bro. He did it to her tonight. What the reason was, I don't care, bro. I just needed it done, and he did it. This bitch, let me get on this fake crying bitch. Hold up. Hold up. Hold the fucking phone. No, hold on. Wardrobe change. I got a, I got a wardrobe change for this one. Excuse me. Yep, got the wardrobe change for this one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta go. 
I gotta go to the show. I gotta put on my show hoodie for this. Hold on, let me put on my show hoodie for this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. I gotta go to work for this one. No, this bitch did not. No, this bitch did. You mean to tell me that you're going to get the fuck up there and start fake crying? Bitch, it was fake. That bitch said, well, quit then. I'm being arrested at work. <laughs> and I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> well, quit, bitch. <laughs> this old bitch standing next to her. That's all that old bitch did the whole time. She didn't say nothing. Nothing. She just wax on. She didn't even wax it off, nigga. She was just waxing on the whole time. <laughs> and it was him! The scary man with the camera. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. Cameras aren't scary. Yes, they are. <laughs> he had a camera. He had a camera. Well, quit, bitch. <laughs> Nigga, nobody in the crowd was by. When I tell you on oh, my mama, nobody in the crowd. Nigga, she did this whole build up. She did it like it was a fucking drama, nigga. You know how everybody do the build up and go, it was him. That's what she did. Oh, my mama. She said, hey, and then you have him. He, he's just going to, he's putting the camera up in people's faces. It's in their face. He puts it in their faces. <laughs> well, quit, bitch. <laughs> Nigga, I promise that's going on the soundboard, too. <laughs> So it's the next time Tiffany start whining, well, quit. You can quit. <laughs> hey, the best part was it fucked her up. She had to catch her breath and kind of start. Go back and watch. It fucked her up. She damn near had to catch her breath and start over, nigga. Because when she was like, you can quit, nigga. She turned and looked at her like, wait, what? Wait, you wasn't supposed to say that, nigga. You, you, you were supposed to have sympathy for me. You. We, we women, we also, shut up, bitch. <laughs> nigga, Tiffany thought she dropped bars, nigga. Tiffany was like, yeah, nigga, and yeah, and then I'm a black woman, and then you got, and then y'all didn't say nothing about Frank Zuccarelli. Boo! <laughs> nigga, Tiffany thought she dropped bars and got booed, nigga. <laughs> I saw it in person on my mama, nigga. <laughs> I saw it in person. I saw it in person, nigga. She thought she had bars, nigga, and got booed, nigga. I never seen that happen at anything she's been at, and I got to see it happen live, nigga. They booed the fuck out of that. Nigga, I couldn't believe what I was with. I was like, this is, nigga, hey, here's the best part. All the motherfucking Thornton Township employees next to me talking shit, mumbling, nigga. And the one big, the one chick, she was like, hey, you need to be quiet. Hey, you ain't going to do shit that she said. Hey, she's like, she was like, you need to get out. Hey, you ain't going to put me out. You ain't the police. I bet, come put me out then. That bitch got quiet real quick. Them niggas was over there huddled up. This one nigga, he just on the phone, Facebook nigga. I'm like, nigga, you just casually violating it. He on Facebook, stop, go violate a nigga's rights, come back, sit on. A nigga, they be doing shit like this. I saw this nigga violate a nigga's civil rights and go sit down and get on Facebook. I put this shit on my mama. Nigga, them, Thor them Thornton Township employees was shook. Uh, nigga, I heard that y'all niggas like to be getting smart at them meetings. That shit wasn't flying today, was it? That shit wasn't flying. It was, <laughs> them niggas was, nigga, my favorite part was, 
You want to know what my favorite part was? It was when all of a sudden Shay had a clear shot. I wasn't happy about having a clear shot. Oh, no. No. I was happy at how I got the clear shot. All of a sudden, after surrounding the the, the threat, nigga, I'm threatening in a the motherfucker. They just, nigga, I'm surrounded. It's like four fucking Thornton employees right here. NBA young boy and Freedom Frank standing right here, all just fucking around me. Then you got this cop. Literally, he ain't watching the meat. He just watching me. Then you got another. Then you got that Morris nigga. He up in the front looking at me. I'm like, so what do y'all think I'm about to do? What is it that? What if? What is it I'm about to do? And they heard me when Keith walked. When Keith walked out, I said, "Oh, punk ass motherfucker." They looked at me too. I'm like, "Yeah, I'm talking to him." This nigga thought that nigga thought he could call. Hey, Keith. <laughs> Remember when I said I'm God's son, and when you try to fuck with me for some reason, it just ain't gonna go the way you want. Well, did you watch tonight's show? Did you see how you thought you could do something to God's son? And did you see how I showed the world yet again that I'm God's son, bro? Them fucking demons can't fuck with me. They can't. You saw it. You saw it with your own eyes. D. Freeman, you got a stream coming, baby. Congratulations. You played yourself. Congratulations. You played yourself. Shot Miss Mary spoke up for the she didn't speak up for me. She spoke up for us. The entire late night crew. She spoke up for us. We about to go inside and watch some shit. Yeah, that's what we about to do. Justice for Alexis Wilson. I missed that part. And I'm so sorry. And I promise you, Alexis, or Alexis too, I promise you, Carr, I will have this on the show the moment I get home. That's my word, okay? Because that nigga that you missed it, that when the when the phone died out the first time, he barred that bitch out. That 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 light skinned nigga, he barred her out. Yes, I'm God's son, but God put all of those people in Dalton around me. And I want y'all to know off the air, my safety was the utmost concern of everybody. Period. From trustees to podcasters to residents. Off the air, they was make Dalton's, Dalton's hospitality is fucking legit. So don't just go there. Talk to the people. They hospitality is next level. I'm not playing. I didn't expect anybody at this Thornton Township meeting to speak to me unless I saw them last night. I ran into probably 20, 30 people I'd never seen before, including walking out with somebody that knew me and I had no clue they did. And that's something Tiffany didn't understand. Tiffany didn't understand that had they actually did something to me, it would have went fucking viral on a level she wasn't ready for. Because not only would people from big ass channels would have had that on their shit, but they would have had residents speaking directly for me. Not just they witness, they know me. That's that hospitality, bro. So now y'all know when I was telling motherfuckers to get at me and hit me and I and I told you they did. Now, can you believe that I actually did? I know y'all thought I was lying, but how did I get all safe like this if I don't talk to nobody?
this is one of the most legendary trips I ever went on in my life. You want to know what the best part of this trip was outside of meeting these lovely people of Dalton? And, and, and this touches me from the bottom of my heart. So I want y'all to take me seriously, bro. The thing that has captivated me about Dalton the most, bro, is that Lacey Lewis don't know how to fucking read, nigga. <laughs> the nigga don't know how to read, nigga. The nigga, the nigga don't know how to read. This thing is illiterate. Oh my, my, I won. I won today, nigga. I won today. Nigga, chief, nigga. We are. You know how petty I am. Get ready for get ready for a daily hooked on phonics lesson on the channel, nigga. You know how petty I can get, nigga. We gonna learn how to read together, nigga. We gonna learn. We're gonna have a daily reading lesson on the channel when I get back home, bro. We gonna learn how to read together nigga <laughs> nigga this potato has got to learn how to spell french fries nigga he don't even know how to spell old gratin this nigga <laughs> Lacey don't know how to spell old gratin nigga oh my god man no this fat fucker bro you can't even <laughs> nigga we doing three lessons hey Shout out to all my senior citizens the dog. We gonna get high and learn how to read all over again, nigga. <laughs> 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 what does this say, Chief? Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> nigga, that says Tiffany here, your nigga. Ain't no Tiffany don't start with no duh sound, nigga. <laughs> Duh, duh. <laughs> oh, oh, nigga, my side, nigga. Lacey can't read. Lacey can't read. Hold oh, on, nigga, stop. My side. My side, nigga, no. This nigga can't read. I'm that's why he's so bad, nigga. That's why he's so bad. He can't. I stand on that. I've learned. This is why he's a dick. He can't read. It makes sense now. Oh, no. This nigga Lewis. This nigga Lewis Lacey. Illiterate. That's why he wear the same clothes. He don't, he don't know what size he wear. He just know that these clothes fit. <laughs> He can't tell what size. I just know this shirt fit and it always fit. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm gonna just rock this motherfucker. Nigga, go buy you a new shirt. I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. They think I'm lying. They think this is some type of fucking joke, Shay. On nigga, he can't. All right. Have you ever noticed that Chief Lacey don't ever have a stack of papers? He just be up there freestyling. Everybody else, <laughs> everybody else up there got an agenda or something in front of them. Chief Lacey don't ever have nothing. He just gets up, Mary Mamby record. Yeah, Mary, can I be Americanized? Um, yeah, uh, just a few ground rules. We've had credible threats. Shut, nigga, you can't even spell credible. And I know you, nigga, spell, nigga, <laughs> you can't. No. If you want me to believe the threat is credible, spell credible. This is the nigga leading all investigations. The nigga who can't read a case file. Oh, oh my God. Remember, you don't believe Chief Lacey's this stupid? Ain't Chief Lacey's the same nigga that was on camera that told a bitch to choke herself out? Yeah, go ahead and choke yourself out. Cause you, Go ahead and choke yourself. Cause you know, you'll go ahead, you'll wake up. <laughs> you'll pass out and start breathing again. Yeah, Lacey told a bitch to motherfucking go ahead and choke herself out 
Because it ain't no big deal because once she pass out, she'll start breathing again. That, I, 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 I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. Oh, shit. Come on, let's go inside and watch some shit. Let's go inside and watch some shit. I always smoke another blunt, but this is way more important. We can smoke the reefer another time. Tiffany, you know what you could have did to get some positive media coverage, right? You know, you know what you could have did, right? Oh, so you don't act like you don't hear me. But you ain't trying to do that, you know what I mean? Tiffany on some real shit after all of that you know what I mean I'd still fuck more than ever I mean the way you was getting embarrassed I mean that shit was so sexy ain't nobody ever looked that sexy while getting utterly destroyed like that I mean damn boo why you gotta do that to a nigga, man? You ain't even gotta do me like that, bro. Ooh. I mean, to do some sexy shit like that in person, to get barred out like that, nigga, and just not even, ooh. Mm, mm, mm. I still fuck. The weave was lit, bro. That weave was looking good in the motherfucker until it started sweat, bro. She started sweating it out. I saw them edges. Ooh, wee, them edges only lasted for about 45 minutes, nigga. You've got to come up with a better tactic than what you're doing. Them shit's gotta last longer than that. Them shit's gotta last way longer than that, nigga. Whew, 45 minutes? Mm -mm. No. Hey, and guess what, bitch? All that shit on the warrant list? The answer's no. The answer's no. You ain't getting none of it. As a matter of fact, who is T.O.? T.O., shut your... T.O., shut your bitch ass up, nigga. T.O., shut the fuck up. And I mean the fuck up. Shut your bitch ass up, nigga. Hi, I'm T.O. Nick. This nigga's like, hey, you guys want to investigate Tiffany Henyard? Well, how much y'all charging? How much? I can just do that shit for free. You, you want you want Mayor Lightfoot to do it and she's going to... $400 an hour? What the fuck? And I'm sitting over here like, wait a damn minute. Wait a damn minute. Wait a damn minute. So y'all just cool, so y'all just cool with this bitch doing Dalton business at the township meeting? Oh yeah, Shay know, Shay know a little bit now. <laughs> bitch, what are you doing? You at the township meeting trying to, trying to do some weird veto? She trying to do a weird, she trying to veto, she trying to veto Lightfoot, which I heard. Let me tell you what her official name is. It's the stud, a.k.a., I promise you. Word in the streets is her name is Uncle Lightfoot. I, I tell no lies. She goes by Uncle Lightfoot. Well, I don't know if she go by, but that's what they be calling her in the streets. Uncle Lightfoot. <laughs> I...
Trina, were you in there when they said that Moore hit that chick? Who was in there when they said Moore hit a bitch? Wiedemann just said Moore hit a bitch. And I'm just like, what? And then you saw security and shit run over there. Nigga, what, what happened? Did anybody see Moore actually hit her? Like, what happened? And why didn't he have to get up? If any chick hit, if NBA Youngboy said I hit her, nigga, they would have, my nigga, they would fuck me up. That nigga thought because I was short, I could be intimidated. That shit was cool. Bitch, no matter how short I am, your mama will still ride me, nigga. So I don't, I don't even understand what the point is. Y'all don't understand. I got the cougars on lock anyway, nigga. So your, your moms might be in the mix. You might want to chill out. You know how many thumbnails I'm going to make with this in the back of this nigga's head saying freedom? <clears throat> this nigga had a freedom hat on while actively blocking a nigga's first constitution, constitutionally protected First Amendment right. <clears throat> Angela, we done, we've done a lot of shit. I literally had my civil rights violated while I'm trying to exercise my right of freedom of the press. You ain't got no badge. You ain't got no. You ain't got no credentials. What the fuck you mean? Fuck you talking about? Answer. I'm on the house. Send me a text. Pretty please. As I go. And then finally. T.O., you gonna wish you never gave me this. <clears throat> you hear me? You gonna wish you never gave me this. You got too cute tonight. The answer's no, nigga. The answer's no. The answer's no. And I'm going to let all the Dalton residents that work there know that this is what you do. This is what you're doing. What are the three names? Chris, what is, is his name's Christopher what? Martin? Is that correct? Does that sound correct? This shit is, <sighs> but now we can finally go inside after 10 years. I had to pack my whole bag. I was packing like I was leaving. I'm just trying to go in the damn house. Nigga needs some water. Um, I gotta be quiet for a few seconds, just you know, out of courtesy. Uh, can y'all spam Justice for Alexis Wilson, Tavares, and make sure y'all put that third name because I keep forgetting that third name. And I talked to his mama, and I'm about to start working on it hardcore when I get back.
It's Tavares Davis. Or to Man, I'm bad with names, bro. If you only knew how long it took for me to get Alexis Wilson. Nigga, I was calling Cara Kara for about a month, nigga. The nigga's bad. But when I get it, I got it. Christopher. Christopher Warren, thank you. Because I spoke with Miss Warren. Thank you very much. I was close. I don't, you know, I don't mean no disrespect. I'm just, I know I'm bad at that and I gotta get better. No excuses. Hey, and um, Lacey, I know y'all whole plan was to try to make it so I don't want to come back and shit like that, but I gotta be honest with you, nigga, that shit didn't work. I'm built different, bro. I don't scare easy. Nigga, I've been to jail before, it ain't shit, bro. And this is with me knowing y'all gonna treat me bad in the motherfucker, too. I don't care, nigga. That's why y'all, that's why people got caught fucking in y'all jail cells, you fucking moron. You fucking moron. <laughs> nigga, I'm pulling a jet of die, nigga. I'm gonna go to the air. I'm gonna be on their way to the airport and turn around, nigga. Jet of die, you didn't do that, bro. Look, I'm with all the shit today. You didn't do that. Hold on, I got you. I'm about to put you on the side. I'm with you with a lot of shit, Jedediah. You ain't do that. That was too much for me. That, you went too far with that. That was when you went too far. I was with all, I was with everything until you said that shit. I'm like, nigga, come on, bro. Why do you gotta say this type of shit? Tiffany, she did not look very tough today. This was the weakest Tiffany ever looked. Ever, bro. Hands down. She never looked weaker. In my opinion. You know, I could obviously be wrong. But I don't think I am. This should be the loudest volume on earth. All right. So, who got the best shot of training? Who got the best shot of training? Probably burgundy. All right. Wrong oh, way. Dirt. Man, I feel stupid. <laughs> if y'all would have saw what I was just doing. All right. 
Let's see, burgundy. Burgundy. Hey, I don't even have to put and I'm not signed in either. You know, I even have to I didn't I spelled Burgundy part of the way and she was like the third result. That's what's up right there, girl. This car was found in an area with a lot of bears. Damn. Honey. <sighs> Well, how do you turn this shit down, bro? Three days, not a single word. Okay, there it goes. Shit. You watched me put it on. It was 72 hours ago. Bro, skip that shit. All right, we got burgundy shit. Burgundy's chilling, 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 chilling. Nigga, she called her a crisis actor, nigga. I, bro, I'm going to give her the works tomorrow, nigga. Tiffany had a plan. They found out I was... I'm going to tell you what really happened while I'm finding them. What really happened was... Tiffany found out that I was the only one live streaming. The she thinks she winning with dots, bro. She thinks she be winning with dots, bro. She thinks she be winning. Look at this goofy motherfucker, bro. Oh, my word. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Shout out to Burgundy Blue Commentary. Make sure you follow her, bro. She's the one. Look how stupid this bitch is. Tonight is because of your sanity. Your no good sanity. The Bowman Harris that does nothing. Matter of fact, she sits on the board. Tell them about the bonuses you got, Stephanie. Tell them. Was it legal? Was it legal? You going to prison. Like, she. <laughs> bitch. That was the fakest smile ever. I saw you for real tonight. And I'm here to tell the world. She pussy, bro. She pussy, bro. She pussy. She's, this is, I'm telling you, I, let me get my, you know what? You won't shake get raw? Let me get raw right quick. Nah, fuck it. I'm gonna get raw before I play, before I play Miss Trina down. Let me get raw. Hey, nigga. Thank you very much, Chief. Let me get raw. You mad because you don't look like Kiana. You mad because you don't look like Brittany. You mad because you don't look like Tammy. You mad that them three girls, I'm sorry, women. You mad that those three wonderful ladies, they bout some shit. They don't have to steal from the village. You so jealous of them. All the people around you that you actually talk to are motherfucking men as you sit up there and talk that black woman shit. I sat down with three beautiful black women today. I did that. I did that. And to sit with trustee Tammy Brown, to sit with trustee Kiana Belcher, to sit with trustee Brandy Norwood, and to see how they actually are as people, it fucks me up to know that you bring this out of people. 
You bring this out of Mama Hill. You bring this out of Kiana. You bring this out of Tammy. You bring this out of Brittany. The them three ladies, I fuck their jobs as trustees. They some of the realest in it, bro. Fuck the trustee shit. Cause that when it comes to policy, shit get finicky. So I stay out of that. We ain't talking about policy. I sat for a couple hours with them ladies at Pablo's today because I told you I was getting out in the streets and everybody knows I love tacos and Pablo's had free unlimited tacos. Big shout out to Chili. Y'all have seen Chili before. He's been on the news. I almost got beat up by another security guard because he ain't really like me talking about Kiana prancing across. Nigga, she was prancing though. I'm not scared to die. I'm not. But guys, let me know if I'm all right or it's not in the plan right now. So if that's the case, then I don't have to be afraid. I don't have to be scared. Be smart. And don't let my ego make my people around me worry. I know I'm not from here. That's why I move as such. Shit, I can easily have my ass whooped. But God don't put me in position to have my ass whooped. Because I don't do shit that deserves me having my ass kicked. Critical smoker in the building. Bro, I'm sorry I didn't get the link today, man. Shit was crazy. I ended up being with the trustee. So I don't want you to think I was just fucking dissing you, bro. I wanted to make sure I say that publicly. Today was a, today was a crazy great day. Now, in honor of Miss Trina Downs, I'm taking both of these. I'm going critical smoker style for Trina Downs. Why would I take these for Trina Downs? I don't know. But just know, I'm taking both of these for Trina Downs right now. So now, let's go watch her turn up. Tony, send them shits to me, pretty please. I'll compensate you for them, even though I know you're probably not asking for that. Yeah, let's talk about burning dookie, nigga. Listen, you illiterate motherfucker. Hold on, because she's coming up right now. Let me explain something to you, because this is when I was leaving out. The word isn't censored. It's censured. Censured. He needs to be censured. Not censored. See how they do the mics, bro. 
You see how they do the mics? Uh huh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Chris, what are you doing? Trying to record on some slash shit, the nigga. Incompatibility of public offices precludes one person from simultaneously holding two public offices. This is from the Dyer's case. This is from Millward versus Thatcher. Eddie versus County Commissioners of Peoria. She does, in fact, supervise herself. What? Being born shit. Dorton Township Supervisor and Mayor of Dalton. And so with that being said, this would be considered a plural office in the state of Illinois, would it not? Uh-oh. See, they and act like Trina. Explain to me why this the dis bro okay. Would not be a plural office or not an office that will be incompatible of holding both positions. You can't. You're not going to answer. Okay. Whoa, right well, quick. Hey, real quick. Before I forget. You know what I heard? I heard Tiffany Henyard be eating pussy. This was a quote to me. Who told me this? I don't know. This was a direct quote to me. A direct quote. Hold on, go back. Fuck me up. In here, you can expect to find crystal clear audio. In here, you can expect to have the volume load in a motherfucker so the ads come on at two trillion. Stupid bitch, she's so stupid. I saw her be stupid live. That shit ain't cute, bitch. You be thinking that shit cute. That shit. I want to hold the board accountable just as much as I'm holding Supervisor Henry accountable for the decision being made to put her in a position that seems to be way more chaotic than letting the people have a choice in a vote. And I also like to say critical. that I have FOIA requests for review. For the public access officer of Illinois, I have all my requests for review for the public access of Council of Illinois. So if you've been violated with not getting a FOIA, if you've been violated in a public meeting or had your civil rights violated, then I have those forms for you. And it's disheartening that I would have to get these forms out for a Tiffany. I was locked outside that meeting. I didn't appreciate that. Why would I be locked outside a public meeting? Great question. Because it's not safe, because it's a threat, but in fact, the threat is sitting on a board. <laughs> That's a threat. That's, that hurts my heart. You understand what I'm saying to you? I, I understand. First, it was the sexual predator that was hired for code enforcement, right? Oh, so shit. you didn't know about that. Oh, damn, Trina, why are you bringing up old shit? Then this stuff comes out about Andrew Holmes, and they say you know about that. Oh, you still bringing up old shit. It's a crisis. I don't want you protecting people who are out here raping people. Hello? 
I don't. I, I, hello? I don't think it's safe for you. I don't, I definitely don't think it's safe for you us. I don't. I don't want your daughter around people who are suspect. That is such a great point. It piggybacks my point that I made about if the shit's a threat, then you need to send your daughter to go be with your motherfucking daddy. And she's right. I don't want that. Right, bro, because of any beef I got with Tiffany, I want the best for her daughter. Like, she's right. Look at this, bro. Do you not know that people would get kids taken away from them if, if this happened twice? Like, if you was a chick and, and, they found, and, and the dude, the, your, your kid's father, found out you had your kids around two different niggas on a sex offender list. They low-key taking your fucking kids, bro. <laughs> like, this is some real shit. Nigga, you're not going to believe. I swear before Lord, I am not signed in. Okay. I'm about to put I'm about to push play, but I want you to see there's three videos at the bottom. Let's take a look. Okay, I'm not signed in. I can see how they would, you know, recommend one of them one of the biggest interviews of all time. Okay, cool. Secondhand Lions. Uh I don't know what that is. But okay. I got ten dollars right now. Somebody can guess what the third video is. One chance, one shot, and I'm closing it in twenty seconds. Let's see if anybody can get it. I'm fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Cut off. Forgotten Son, Channel 5 Tiff is the last comment I recognize in the contest. <laughs> you can't make this up, bro. Come on, bro. You can't make that one up. You can't make that one up. That's the third video. Chicago activist Andrew Holmes detains hit and run driver. You know when he ran 14 blocks? Oh Jesus, you you clowning tonight. I I'm loving this, Lord. You <laughs> I see you. I see you. That's you couldn't make that up. And Andrew Holmes was left for months around just the general public. I didn't know this went on when he came knocking at my door to give me a turkey. Oh, I just went back and didn't answer the door. Oh shit, did you hear what she said? That's that's not funny. Did you hear what she just said? She just said. I didn't know that Andrew was caught up in this when this nigga came knocking on my door trying to give me a turkey. And I don't even know. She might be talking about dick. Maybe, maybe we talking about a turkey, turkey, but this is Andrew Holmes we talking about. It could have been dick. Thank goodness she ain't opened the door. It was posted on Dalton Politics months and months and months before it came on the news. No means no, Andrew Holmes. But nobody knew what it meant, did we? And we still in the dark as to what it means. But he's roaming freely around everyone and everybody's family. None of this should be going on on a taxpayer's dime. Where is anyone's moral compass? Why is people having sex on official municipal trips? Why is this going on? It's just what I don't know. Everybody just, uh, this is what you guys do. Well, in their defense, Trina, because
because I know they're not answering anything. So let me let me answer for them. <laughs> uh, it's quite simple. Why are they fucking on trips? Because they went and got drunk and was partying in Las Vegas and they had some Molly, nigga. They had some motherfucking Molly. They had the Molly. You know, they hit the, the dispo. Nigga, they was popping balls of Ace of Spade, nigga. Dicks got hard. Pussies got wet, apparently. You know how that shit go? Like, we all supposed to be grown, nigga. Oh, wait. But they ain't supposed to do that shit with village money. Damn it. That part. Oops. Yeah, y'all can fucking shit all you want. Just leave the credit card at home. Other tax dollars, sexually assault others. Told you. Because if she was drunk or incapacitated, you can't drive drunk. I can't imagine that you could give sexual consent drunk. And so as a black woman, I want to see you protect black women. And I haven't seen that, Tiffany, since you've been in office, even in Dalton, when a black woman got beat up at the city go. Remember that? That she had to use the bathroom and the guy beat her up and he wasn't arrested. This is what I need. What would you like? You can look down at the papers, but I know you hear me, right? <laughs> When I say weak ass, you say bitch. Weak ass bitch. Weak ass bitch. When I say weak ass, you say bitch. I see you looking down at the papers, ho. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. You're not dead. <laughs> She came over here right now. She got to ignore me because she knows I really know her heart and I know who she is. And I want to know why she's doing this. Why are you violating our rights to speak? When I stood next to you for you to speak at every turn, I pushed you forward to speak. Don't let them block you out. You a trustee. Don't let Andrew Rome say you can't speak. You didn't even like him. You said he didn't live here. <laughs> but now it's okay. This is not okay. Subscribe to Burgundy Blue Commentary. You can't have people that you like in office and in positions because you like them and they're willing to do whatever you want them to do. That's not okay. Especially when they're in Dalton and they're in Thorn. That likens to Rico. Can you explain to your client what a RICO charge is? I think you might need to. <laughs> Are you familiar with what a RICO charge is? I'm sure it doesn't really matter because representing in court, you know, that makes you more money than advising your client properly. Damn. Right? Damn. And so you have a whole lot of people around you who say they're for you and say they're intending for you to have the best thing but they set you up for failure. Shout out Prince to Delgado. Chris O'Connor said right down there, he set you up. Who? Then you prayed. <laughs> and then you set on our police board, then you left. When you got, when you got real crazy, right? <laughs> that was the second decision. I, 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 mm -hmm. I don't know about that we need a police board because it was two men that were hung in non police station. They found them hanging. In May of 20. Look, I'm getting about tired of this bitch front, front flossing that she be reading. I'm stop embarrassing Chief Lacey, bro. The nigga can't read, and you sitting here. It's clear you've done a lot of reading. Can you stop? Can you stop flexing all the reading, bro? We know you can read. Damn. Damn, Trina. I thought you were supposed to hide shit from niggas in books. She done brought up, just so you know, all, she, all them things I've heard at some point in time. That chick in the sit go, uh, um, the hangings at the police station, like all that, bro. She's not just making, this, these are not things she's making up, just for the record. Y'all niggas is wild, bro. Y'all niggas is wild.
and 22. That's five months apart. I got my right. own examiner report. What a coinky day. But I thought that non police were responsible for detainees. Why, Lacey, just hang yourself? That's your advice? Damn. I still got that footage. Damn, just hang Lacey. Yourself. Damn, Lacey. Right? And so this needs to be absolutely stopped. It really does. I don't like what I'm hearing. I don't like what I'm seeing. Ooh. And so you can stop me now, but you can't stop this pen. Thank you, Miss Downs. Hey, Weedman, you ain't shit for that smile. Thank you, Miss Downs. <laughs> My name is Sean Paul Reyes. I'm an independent journalist. My company's name is Long Island Water and Ink. I travel around the country. Oh shit. Get this nigga's podium out. He mad too. Now I can let him have these bars. The reason why, why let me go ahead and clarify before I let him go, and then y'all be like, "Damn, it's a fake shit." Let me explain the difference. At this meeting, this was that type of time. They in there violating people's rights. All the horror stories we saw it, and we saw stuff we ain't never seen before. Disgruntled people, Keith, damn, they're getting in a fight. All these different things where okay. It's a little more, y'all saw the temperature was way different. The other shit, there was no, no beef like that. And then you were off topic. You see what I'm saying? So I want that to be understood before I have to slap shit out of somebody. New York to California, no more between investigating corruption. I have never, ever seen corrupt, corruption like Mayor Tiffany Henry. Super Mayor, super corrupt. Your police department threatened your police chief who's not even qualified to be the police chief. Hey, shut the fuck up, nigga. Don't come over here talking to me like that. I don't, I'm, we're not doing that. And I didn't mean to block you. I meant to time you out. You go sit on timeout. I'm tired of y'all telling me, don't, stop telling me that somebody's a good guy. Act like adults, bro. Y'all, what part of, bro. Why do y'all think when I say something that, that that is a totality of how I feel about somebody? I literally just exp <sighs> Sorry, Sean. Go ahead. Go ahead, Sean. Subscribe to Burgundy Blue Commentary. Any of the past exam, not even qualified, pulled out his handcuffs to try and intimidate me with unlawful arrest. Another officer threatened to throw me into a cell. There's over 15,000 people here watching you live, Mayor Henry, and you're being a coward. You won't even look me in the eye. 15,000 people, and you're disrespectful. 15,000 people watching you here. I've gone to every single state almost, and I've seen the worst of the worst politicians, police officers from Connecticut, everywhere in between. And I've never seen a police department this bad. It needs to be disbanded. Damn it, Sean. Oh. Somebody tell me where he fucked up. Damn it. Somebody tell me where he fucked up. It wasn't the 15,000 people. Nigga, why are you talking about Dalton police sitting in South Holland, bro? Do you know where you at? No doubt, Nick. I appreciate the love. Nigga, that's a whole L. Nigga, you, you're in South Holland, bro. So when you say... This police department needs to be disbanded. You're referring to South Holland. Bro, Sean's heart is right in the perfect place. My issue is he's got to motherfucking learn more about Dalton. He don't know nothing. He, 
He's, bro, he's just up here ranting off emotion. He don't really know shit. Like, I just listened to Trina Downs name item, 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 item. This nigga's just up here ranting. You do these podcasts, and you don't say anything. He, she's done you more. You don't say anything. I got receipts, you show papers, you shuffle them around, and you don't do anything. Lori Lightfoot's not going to get you. The FBI's going to get you, and they're going to throw you in the federal penitentiary. That day is going to come. Lori Lightfoot, and everybody here from Dalton, and everybody watching, she has no... I be trying with kid, bro. I be trying, bro. What is? Are you with the people of Dalton or what? Like you all over the place. You talk. You talking about the FBI gonna get her? But Lori Lightfoot ain't gonna get her. I don't even know what that. This nigga's doing too much, bro. You need to stay out of that Lori Lightfoot shit, bro. You don't know what you're talking about. And that's not to say, it, like, they're using her to try to help get the, You know what? You don't listen to me neither. Who was taping VIN numbers? What are the cops? I mean, bro. I'm not I'm not with all the cute shit. I'm not with all the cute shit. Shout out to him. I ain't with all cute shit. I'm on a whole different mission. He's on a different mission. He's on a He's on a, a justice mission for Dalton that doesn't include anybody from Dalton. That's my personal opinion. It's like he sits and talks to all his people like, yeah, we're doing this for Dalton. And he comes to Dalton and don't talk to anybody but himself. Literally. 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 This nigga's making me so mad. I'm trying to be cool, bro. I owe him a solid, though. I do owe him a solid. I don't want this nigga to go down this more electric path because, bro, he don't know what he's talking about. He's speaking too emotional. <clears throat> Damn it, Sean. Oh, this pisses me off, bro. We are Ram. And when trucks are what you do, you do truck better than anyone else. Weak ass shit, bro. I learned a lot about auditors over the last like month, and it's not it's not bad. I learned a lot of good stuff about auditors this month. I also learned some stuff I want to give back. I don't. I don't think it's safe for Now watch this part again. I want you to watch Tiffany, right? And I want you to really listen to him with Tiffany, okay? When Tiffany's sitting here trying to fake talk. Company's name is Lauren Island Auditing Inc. I travel around the country from New York to California and everywhere between investigating corruption. I have never, ever seen corrupt corruption like Mayor Tiffany Henry. Super Mayor, super corrupt. Your police department, right? Your police chief is not even qualified to be the police chief. Can't even pass a simple exam. 
not even qualified, pulled out his handcuffs to try and intimidate me with unlawful arrest. Another officer threatened to throw me into a cell. There is over 15,000 people here watching you live, Mayor Henry, and you're being a coward. You won't even look me in the eye. 15,000 people, and you're disrespectful. 15,000 people watching here. That's, nigga, that's sociopathic like, nigga. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't saying she's a sociopath. I'm just saying that's, 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 that's like, bro. That's what she's saying, Trina. She's saying that. So she, so basically, okay. So is this another? So is this a situation? For uh, to put it a short way, is this just a kind of like? She's trying to put this nigga out. She's trying to find a reason to put this nigga out. Basically, and, and and this bitch is trying to tell her she can't do it. Is that what it is? Nigga, shut up. Get the fuck off. Get the fuck off my channel, you stupid bitch. You tripping, nigga. <laughs> I heard I hit 13K tonight. Huh? Look like we gonna go back under. Cause I'm not going for the disrespect. From any of you niggas. I don't, y'all be thinking, oh, that nigga got so many subscribers. Then stay on his channel, nigga. Tell that nigga to work harder on Dalton then, if you feel some type of way. I've gone to every single state almost, and I've seen the worst of the worst politicians, police officers from Connecticut, everywhere in between. And I've never seen a police department this bad. It needs to be disbanded. You talk about You do these podcasts, but you don't say anything. Now this is this is where he starts losing me. Because it's clear that he's he's trying to just get her to look up. That's lying. But okay. You don't say anything. I got receipts, you show papers, you shuffle them around, and you don't do anything. Lori Lightfoot's not gonna get you. The FBI's gonna get you, and they're gonna throw you in the federal penitentiary. That day is gonna come. Lori Lightfoot and everybody here from Dalton. Everybody watching, she has no legal authority to do anything. It's a waste of time. She has a waste of time and money. It's going to cost you at least $30,000. And she has no subpoena power. She's going to pay $400 an hour. $30,000 is $70,000. Yeah, Tony, it wasn't, though. Two weeks. I thought it was. It wasn't. And then what is she going to find? That, she, that this woman that we all know she's corrupt is corrupt? She's going to ask Tiffany Henry for, for documents that she's never provided to anybody else under FOIA, under law? I mean, look at this, bro. Like, bro, just let it go. It's over, bro. She laughing at you and shit. She's gonna hand it over to Lori Lightfoot. She's not. Newsflash. She's not. Tiffany Henry is going. She has a police vehicle. That's her personal vehicle. That's against state law. Sean, do you think that the Lori Lightfoot investigation is Lori Lightfoot asking Tiffany for some information? He actually kind of is because he don't hit like how Trina hit. He don't hit how like, uh, what's his name, Don Cor? She He don't hit like them. You know why they hit harder? Because they talking about factual shit with real people in that fucking room. He's just sounding like a nigga off the internet. You you just you just sound like a you sound like you on a soapbox on the internet. That's why she. This is why I can't. This is why I really ain't hitting her like that. That other shit would hit her, bro. And it's because Trina's sitting up here. Look, this happened. This happened. Your daughter is around this person that you be around. And you hired this person. And naming all these things. Don Cor get up there. He talking. Oh, Jedediah gets up there. He's bringing up specific things. You getting up here. And your auditing skills are top notch. He's got some of the best auditing skills in the world. I vouch for that. The commentary skills is lacking. <laughs> you speaking on a place and nobody in this room know who you are. And I'm going to tell you, bro, this is just me being honest. There's a lot of people around here don't fuck with you. Just so you know. But I'm probably lying. But again, this is me trying to help you out. State law. 
We should call the police right now and have them confiscate her vehicle. South Holland police, South Holland police need to confiscate yeah, her vehicle. Call home and hit Because it has lights, it has a municipal police plate, and Thornton Township is not allowed to have, per state statute, is not allowed to have a police vehicle. And she's driving around in an illegal police vehicle. Probably the person driving is not even law enforcement. The person is a police officer. You should be ashamed of yourself. 16,800 people watching. Mayor Henry, Supervisor Henry, whatever you want to call it. Niggas, nigga, okay, I'm done. I can't do no more. Y'all can be mad at me. I can't do no more. Nigga, that's like the third time. Okay, nigga, you had like 20,000 people on your live. Congratulations, nigga. I'm glad you're going to get the cash out on the village again. Congrats. Now, when you get that big-ass AdSense check on the 21st, how much are you going to put back in the village? Now, before you ask me how much money I put back in the village, the answer is zero. I didn't put a motherfucking dime in that bitch. I'm the biggest hypocrite you've ever seen, nigga. How much of this big ass... I don't want... I want y'all to understand this nigga's ad check. AdSense check for this shit. Nigga, he getting ready. Right back to Long Island. What makes you... What makes you different? What makes you different? Hold on a second. All right. I had to, uh, I had to send a message. Biggest hypocrite, bro. I ain't giving shit to the village. Fuck them people, nigga. This ain't about me. I'm demonetized, so I don't have no money to get them niggas no way. I'm broke. <laughs> I'm broke, nigga. I'm motherfucking broke, nigga. Why you think them people fuck with me? They fuck with me because I ain't I don't do shit for them. I can't I love bro. All I'm trying to do is get myself remonetized so I don't ever have to talk to them again. That's it. I ain't gonna never talk to them again. Even though they met me when my channel was monetized, but you meant tomato it tomorrow, don't worry about it. Don't try. Don't try. Don't trip. All I know is when you get your big ass ass since check, you better put a big ass chunk back in that village. You better stop just popping up, stealing money out of there. I don't like that shit. <laughs> I don't like that shit. I feel I feel a way about that shit. This is the sec this is the what? This is like the second or third time you no, this is the third time you done popped up getting a check from here, bro. You've made no impact in the community. Been here three times. Three times. You've made no impact. Out of them 16,000 people, you probably had nobody from Dalton in your life. In my two, out of my 2,000, about half the room was in the, in the chat. I had people come over to me and was like, hey, I just found out about blah, blah, blah. From your, I'm not lying. I'm connected to the Lord. That's it. Just man. Mm -hmm. That's not, I didn't ask. Oh, he donates proceeds from his court cases. Well, how many court cases does this bitch-ass nigga win a year? Y'all ain't here sucking a lot of dick. 
It's too many grown ass men in here cupping balls for me. Just way too many. I don't give a fuck what he did with anything in the past. I said when he get his check on the 21st, he better put a big ass chunk in that motherfucking village. Because unlike you bitch ass nigga, I know about how much he's going to make this year. So shut the fuck up. I don't know you nigga. Stop talking to me like you know me. I'm hating, bro. Hating on what, nigga? Again, bitch, I'm here. You not. You hating. You hating. You don't fucking know me. And you don't know him. Look how gay you acting. Grown ass man sitting there sucking another man's dick that you don't even know. This nigga wouldn't even talk to you, nigga. That's why you over here. Shut up. Until you ready to get your fat ass off the couch and come to Dalton, shut your bitch ass up, nigga. Ain't nobody, look, shut up. All, look, all you pussy ass motherfuckers, hey, won't y'all go and tell Sean I said fuck you if y'all feel that way. Let me tell y'all something, bro. I don't intimidate because a bunch of uh, motherfucking keyboard warriors come over here and think I'm going to suck his dick because you do. I have my own opinion. I don't like the way he move around here. None of y'all from here. None of y'all been here. None of y'all talk to anybody here. Tommy G was more in the streets than y'all, and he dropped 20 bands in the community. So shut up, nigga. All y'all niggas act like, yeah, who he gives proceeds. But what case does he have with Dalton, nigga? Huh? Why, ain't, why won't he say justice for Alexis Wilson? He has 16,000 motherfucking people in that bitch. He don't want, he don't want justice for nobody. He don't want justice for nobody. He don't want justice for nobody. Yeah, he hate. Yeah, if I'm if I'm a hater, then he a hater about Alexis Wilson. Then he's a hater about uh, Christopher. What's his last name again? I'm about to remember it. And Tavares. I didn't hear him mention a single motherfucking person from that village. All I heard him talk about was him, Lacey, and Tiffany. That's it. He don't know none of them department heads. He don't know more. He don't even fucking know security guard Otis, even though he done got into it with the nigga. He don't know who Keith Freeman is. He didn't know anybody in there, nigga. He don't even know who I am. Because to him, I'm just a nigga with like 13,000 subscribers, which is nothing to him. Unfortunately, nigga, I got more clout than you in the streets. That's what it's about, right? That's what you run about. Clout, right? I like my cloud off the air, cousin. I like my cloud off the air, cousin. I like it off the air. Get in the streets, nigga. Get y'all bitch asses in the streets. Y'all scared. <laughs> y'all scared to go through Dalton for real. Y'all, all y'all want to do is go to that fucking village. Y'all niggas won't even go to that sit go across the street. Dr. Scott, I hope I get to see you tomorrow. Nigga, I won YouTube when I found out Lacey couldn't read, nigga. Things you ain't supposed to learn. Hooked on Fox, work for me. You soft ass kids, y'all gotta understand that criticism of another human being isn't hate. <laughs> you can criticize somebody without it being hateful. Like, that's some shit to remember. Let me prove my point to you right here. Trina Downs, tell me if I'm wrong. 
tell me if this doesn't prove my point of what I'm trying to say with Sean. He's sitting up there, Mary Henry, there's 16,000, it's 16,000, it's 16,000, do, 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 do. What Tiffany Henry say? Oh, the podcast had 20,000 views in two hours. First of all, that's a motherfucking lie. I put that on my mama and it didn't have no fucking 20,000 views in no two hours. She's a hot damn lie. That's the same shit. How is that different? How is it different? Her sitting here saying her shit had 20,000 views in two hours and him sitting here telling her, yeah, oh yeah, you had 20,000 in two hours? Well, I have 16,000 live, live right now. This nigga was up there, and he knew that too. He's like, "Well, since she ain't saying that, I mean, think about it." Multiple people came over. He's like, "Oh, he bodied Tiffany." Then nobody say shit about Trina. You know why? Because they don't know. Trina was boring to them. She's talking about actual Dalton shit, so that's boring. We need the red meat. Say something about her. Say it to her face. Yeah. They not trying to do no real type of fighting. Then this nigga gonna get up and diss the trustees again. So now. You get you get up in another meeting on another part of t- in another town, and diss the Dalton trustees again. Why? Why would you get in Lori Lightfoot, nigga? Did you go home and do any research on Lori Lightfoot? No. You didn't. Not surprising though. That shit don't surprise me at all. Yeah, LIA, bro, he was, bro, I could tell he was getting, but he was already agitated. So I will defend him in that. He was agitated and rightfully so at that point because, you know, he walked in on fuck shit. I give him that. I'll give him that all day. He walked in on some fuck shit. So I get why he was flustered, but the whole thing is, is you got to have a game plan. And his game plan of just getting up there and making it about him, Lacey, and Tiffany's weird. Again, I would have never got up there and said, hey, I'm Shay from the Shay Lewis Hall Senior Owner Operator of the Real Late Night Crew. And yeah, I'm up here to let y'all niggas know that, you know what I'm saying? Um, My channel's demonetized. She's a bitch. He can't read. She's a bitch. He can't read. And she ain't paying me no attention. Like, nigga, everybody already said that shit, though. Bro, let me... I'm going to put you on some game. Let me put you on some game. I'm, Bro, let me put you on some game. I promise you. Listen to me. You've got to understand that the way you moving around there, I'm telling you, because I know, the way you moving around there ain't cool to the residents. To the, I'm telling you, to the residents, that shit ain't cool how you moving. Now, you cannot believe me, or you can, because I, I, there's no reason for you to believe me, and that's cool. The Lori Lightfoot thing, I know for a fact you haven't researched it properly, because you don't even know exactly what it is she's doing. She's not asking Tiffany to turn over shit. That's not what this shit's about. And I already know that there's some very important people that have already started snitching before Lori was even voted in. I'm going to tell you what you did to the residents. They, the, these residents, no, no. I'm talking about certain residents in that, I'm not talking about everybody. Bro, you got 600,000 subscribers, bro. Obviously, there's some motherfuckers there that fuck with you like that. I, again, let me let me say this clearly. The way you're moving, when you come in, you bro, you're not fucking listening to the people and you're not speaking for them. You got a platform. You just said you had 16,000 people and you didn't mention either of the three people killed by the, that were killed and the police ain't done shit. You got a girl who, Alexis Wilson was murdered by fucking, uh, fucking Dalton police, bro. She was murdered by them. They shot her twice in the head and five times in the body while she was driving. They shot her and killed her seven times. 
they, they shot her seven times and killed her. So when you go up there and you do all the ranting about the police and, and talking to your large fan base and you don't mention them, that shit makes them mad. But you would know that if you actually was really talking to somebody. There's no reason why you, if you're going to go at the police, fine. But you got to mention them for the people to feel that you authentic with them. I'm just putting you on game. People there won't say Alexis Wilson's name. It is a big deal for somebody to come, anybody with a platform to come in there and say justice for Alexis Wilson. I promise you, you that motherfucker for life. That's all I'm saying. His Understand, Sean's auditing skills is number one, and if it wasn't for him, I was in a tough-ass jam. Don't get it twisted. Do not get it fucking twisted. Him and Jedediah coming in when they did was the best fucking thing for me, and I thank them for that. I don't, a lot of people think because I say in this one thing about Long Island audits, I have a problem with him. I have no problem with the kid. I'm a grown man. I'm 41 years old. And sometimes I go, hey, man, I don't like this shit the way this shit is. It ain't that I hate you. I'm God's son. I am a man of the Lord. I don't hate anybody for the record. He don't have 600,000 subscribers by fucking luck. He worked fucking hard. I want that to be understood. But I'm just telling you. No, I don't, no, Long Island, I don't, you don't, I know you don't have no hate for me. Oh, no, I know you don't. You came over here, and that's some real fucking shit. So I know you have no hate. No hate. We all on the same team. I promise you we are. This is why I'm saying, I'm just telling you out of love. I'm telling you out of love. If you're going to go with the cops, and you want and you want the residents all to get behind you with that, mention, mention Alexis Wilson. Mention Tavares. Mention Chris. Christopher, and they gonna help you. Then they gonna go, yo, that's a real motherfucker, and he's really he, he ain't just here saying. Cause to some people it be feeling speechy, bro. To some people it feels speechy. That's why I'm like, I even said, you need to be there. If Long Island Audit didn't show up, I promise the night would have been way worse than it was. LIA, I know you got a good contact. I'm going to send you some people that will be very eager to talk to you. Bet. Okay, bet. That's what's up right there. That's what's up right there. You you a real motherfucker, bro. You scary because you big as shit. But you a real motherfucker. This some real shit. See that, fanboys? An adult talking to an adult. That be my thing. Shout out to Long Island Audit. He's an auditor. I'm a commentator. That's all. He's an auditor. I'm a commentator. He's one of the best in the fucking world, and that's not even a doubt. Me, I'm working on my title. But I am the best commentator in the village of Dalton. I can stand on that with pride. And I can be better. Long Island's not the only one that can be better. I can be better. I gotta be better. I can be better. I just got to work at it. Because this ain't, I don't want this coming across as, nah, I'm not perfect in my delivery. It's one of my flaws. And plus, he gave me great cover. His, him getting up there gave me great cover. I had to get up out of there, bro. That shit wasn't right. These motherfuckers barricaded me, bro. 
motherfucker will tell me you need a media you need a media badge you're not media unless you have a media badge okay where do I get this media badge And I'm going to, um, I'm going to send you a couple of things that I can't say over the air. I and I'm, I want you to take that as my token of appreciation and an apology for being so high headed because fanboys, but I'm going to send you something that you're going to really like information wise. I'm going to email you, sir. Lacey, at the end of the day, you can't read, and I'm out of jail. You can't read, Long Island's out of jail. You can't read, Jedediah's out of jail. You can't read, and there's no such thing as an unnamed trustee. That nigga's name is Andrew Holmes, bitch. Ain't no more unnamed trustee. That shit dead, nigga. I'll see you in a month, pussy boy. Hey, y'all want to know something? I heard, hey, Trina, is Trina down still here? Because I wonder if she can vouch. I heard Andrew, da and Andrew Downs. I'm so sorry, Trina. That was a tall accident. Freudian slip. Andrew Holmes be seen in the streets. He be over in the streets. Andrew, I think he's like, this is my personal assessment. This nigga's in the streets basically trying to litigate this case, bro. Hey, the fun... Hey, bro, you gotta go to the part if you wanna see the funniest part of LIA stream from my perspective, right? And when I say my perspective, I want you to watch it. His nickname, Cody. Damn it. Oh, damn it. When L.I.A. walked right in, nigga, L.I.A. walked in, <laughs> he came from the other side. He walked in, he walked right up, hey, man, don't touch me. <laughs> that nigga was getting abused. Freedom Frank got abused by everybody. They not hiring him no more. He got punked by me, he got punked by L.I.A., and he got punked by Jedediah, nigga. He got... That security nigga got punked by everybody that came in there, bro. Beth was like, yeah, that, we went through a bad stretch in the 80s, but that was years ago. We partying now. What was the wildest Tiffany Henry story I heard since I've been here? Tiffany eat pussy. I ain't gonna hold you. That's the wild... That was the wildest one. Did you talk to Cody today? Damn it. Yeah, and hold on. Let's see. Yeah, thank you. We can turn that on. Andrew Holmes on the news. Hey, man, shout out to Long Island Ida. He's a real motherfucker, bro. He's a real motherfucker. No, nah, I did not talk to Cody today, nigga. I'm good. Yeah, let's search for Andrew Holmes. <laughs> Shout out to Hannibal, bro. I can't wait to I can't wait to watch this. That's probably what I'm gonna watch when I get off of here. Oh, shit. These thumbnails are bad, nigga. Oh, no. These thumbnails are atrocious. Oh, no. Put, indoor, put important Dalton in the title so I don't miss it. Say less, bro. I appreciate you. Thank you for being a real motherfucker, bro. I'm, I'm so serious. I'm so serious. Make sure y'all subscribe to LIA, even though everybody in here probably already is. But if you ain't, get your ass over there. Look at these thumbnails, nigga. 
bombshell allegations against Tiffany Holmes and Tiffany Henyard and Andrew Holmes. Dalton breaking Andrew Holmes named in lawsuit along with Mayor. Tiffany Henyard tried to conceal alleged sexual assault. Yeah, I fucked that bitch. Yeah. Nah, I didn't take the pussy. She, she just gave it to me. Yeah, I put a little sauce in her drink. It was just a little bit. I just put a little bit of sauce in her drink. And, uh, yeah, I fucked her. Yep, I fucked her. I sure did. Yeah, it was raw. Yeah, that's how I get down. Mm-hmm. I look like Slappy White. This nigga going to prison forever, nigga. <laughs> what I tell you, this nigga going to prison, nigga. I heard he gone. He gone, gone. He gone. You nasty motherfucker. You you look like that, nigga. I can't. I, he look like that, nigga. He look like that. Damn, Trina, I'm so glad you didn't open that motherfucking door. And I'm not playing. Joke's over. What the fuck? Is this real? And it's the third, it's the, my video is the fourth result when you fucking search for Andrew Holmes. When you just search Andrew Holmes, my stream is fourth. I'm not signed in. Hell to the no. They take a nigga paycheck away and give him all the algo love, nigga. <laughs> they was like, nigga, this nigga channel about to blow up. Take that check, nigga. Hurry up. Hold on. I got to set up a tripod for this one. No, I'll just sit at the back. Right here, fuck it. All right. What you drawing? My new friends. They live in the closet. This is C. Bitch, shut up. Is that Tiffany's lawyer? Tiffany's lawyer is in a Terminex commercial? He's in Chicago for many years for his work as a community activist helping crime victims and... Hold on, nigga. A suit filed late last night by a former employee of the village of Dalton and a Dalton police officer. In addition to his work as a community activist, Holmes serves as a trustee for the... Nigga. Ooh, hold on. The news is using cold-blooded pictures, nigga. Oh, they using some cold-blooded shit, nigga. They really putting this... This motherfucking shit. They... Oh, man. Of Dalton. The civil lawsuit against the village of Dalton, Thornton Township, Tiffany Henyard, and Holmes himself sexually assaulted a Dalton Village employee while on a village business trip to Las Vegas in May of 2023. According to the lawsuit, the employee had drinks with Holmes, whom she thought of as an uncle, then passed out in Holmes' hotel room. The lawsuit alleges Holmes then called Dalton Police Chief Byron Miles, who was on the trip as part of Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard's security detail. According to the lawsuit, quote, Holmes began describing a host. There go his name, bro. Oh, wow. Holmes began describing a host of his exploits from the trip, many of sexual nature to Officer Miles. At some point during his rant, Trusty Holmes made reference to him engaging in sexual activities with a Dalton Thornton employee. And there was some suggestion that the employee may not have had the ability to consent and or did not provide consent. <sighs> Shout out to Officer Miles, bro. Shout out to Officer, Mi Officer Miles, bro. <laughs> exploits from the trip, many of a sexual nature to Officer Miles. At some point during his rant, Trusty Holmes made reference to him engaging in sexual activities with a Dalton Thornton employee. 
and there was some suggestion that the employee may not have had the ability to consent and or did not provide consent. The lawsuit says Officer Miles then began recording the phone call and FaceTimed Holmes. Trustee Holmes then panned the camera toward the bed where Officer Miles could see a woman who was partially undressed. The trustee then... He go. He go. This is it. This is it. This is it. Uh, we, uh, what happens with Tiffany? Who fucking knows? This nigga done. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen with Tiffany, but this is this this rapsy scapsy young young brother. They got on right here, and I've known this. I've known this for about a month, two months, and I couldn't say it. I can say it now. Officer Miles had this. He FaceTime Officer Miles. You see the bitch? Yeah. Fucked her. This is what they said he did. This is not a game. They claim Miles has recordings of Andrew Holmes. It's over. It's over. It's over. You think Miles be still police if he was lying on Andrew Holmes, nigga? Andrew Holmes is a top cop, nigga, in Chicago. <laughs> You think Miles still be police if he was lying on Holmes? For real? The camera to various private areas of the woman's body, displaying them on screen, and at times moving or removing articles of clothing as he transmitted the images. The lawsuit alleges when the woman woke up, she couldn't remember anything that happened the night before and was not aware of the alleged assault until informed by Officer Miles when they returned to Dalton. The lawsuit alleges that when the female employee became aware of what allegedly happened, she requested to speak to Mayor Henyard. Henyard allegedly told the woman, quote, if the information got out, Henyard would be ruined and all of the work she had done would be lost. Despite assurances that Henyard would handle the situation, the lawsuit alleges the female employee was eventually fired by the village of Dalton. Officer Miles alleges his duties were diminished and he faced retaliation at work. This is, bro, let me just say this before I finish this off. It's like me coming here with such bad luck for her. It was like, it was like bad luck happened last Monday to make it so I could get here. And then it's just been keep going for her. Nigga, Keith Freeman is on video, on my video, getting, damn near getting into a fight. Keith Freeman was talking shit, too. Like, just so y'all know, for the record, let me just clarify this with Jedediah. Jedediah did not start that shit. Keith Freeman started that shit. Keith Freeman started that shit. Keith Freeman tried to say something slick, but Jedediah being Jedediah, he turned up on him, and Keith wasn't ready for it. Keith was not prepared. Keith said something slick to Jed, and Jed, Jed, Pulled that nigga whole card. That nigga walked all the way up to Keith's face. Nigga, I ain't scared of you, nigga. Then Keith said, I ain't scared of you. <laughs> <laughs> and then Keith, I got to go back and watch because I think Keith low-key threatened this nigga. Keith low-key low threatened that nigga. Yeah, then he sat back down. He turned his back to him. You can't, bro, I'm, where I come from, you can't, you can't get up in a nigga face like Jedediah. Jedediah cussed this nigga out. This nigga Jed did like this. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then sat down with his back to Keith, nigga. Ain't no motherfucking way, nigga. Ain't no, where I come from, you can't do that. Just on the strength. On the strength, that you damn gonna get your face cracked just on the strength of doing that. And we spoke. Damn, man. I'm jealous, man. How come they water tower shot is way better than mine, nigga? My shit was not this cool, but 
Trina. Come on. I know Trina done said this is this looks like some shit Trina done said in one of the meetings. Um, yes, darling residents. I'm trying to understand why we are living in a town that has all these rust spots in our water tower. Now, I read the statute. And Dalton's supposed to have better water towers than this. Now, what are we going to do about this? <laughs> I know, I, bro, I can't wait to find the meeting where she went off about this water tower, nigga. I know it's up there. I, I know it, it can be found. <laughs> I know I can find that one. <laughs> I love Trina because Trina got bars. People don't really be respecting her bars, and I don't get it, man. Trina be having them bars, bro. I, I promise you, bro. The thing, it, what kills me with people is too many people be looking for 1,000% accuracy. People want 100% accuracy, bro. Ain't no 100% accuracy, nigga. Nigga, but she right about this water tower. I stand. I stand with her. Lee to Holmes this afternoon who said he had, quote, no response at this time, not to these allegations. I'm not bothered by it. Las Vegas police have reportedly launched an investigation into the allegations. <laughs> hold on, nigga. Wait. No, nigga. Hold on. Yep. Got to do it. What the fuck is going on right here? Nigga. Is that shirt even buttoned? <laughs> Oh no, this nigga Dave Placco, where did he button it at? I can't, where did this nigga button his shit? Hold on, let's see if I can get up. <laughs> Dave Placco almost choked himself out putting his damn shirt and tie on, nigga. Look at his face all red and shit. This nigga down there choked himself. <laughs> Niggas over there trying to, niggas over here trying to, they over here trying to help Dane Placco get out of this shirt, nigga. <laughs> Chief Lacey standing off to the side, nah, just let him choke himself out. <laughs> Cause when he choke himself out, he'll start back breathing again. <laughs> oh shit, the nigga Lacey, nah, let him choke himself out, nigga. He'll, <laughs> he'll start. Back Breathe. Hey, Mr. Placco, don't worry about it. Baby, you'll start back breathing again once you pass out. This is y'all motherfucking police chief, nigga. I hate that I have to joke. These people are too real to me now to even be joking about this foolishness, nigga. This shit is outrageous and dog, bro. Oh, my goodness. That's why this nigga didn't come. He couldn't get that shirt to fit right. Yeah, I'm going to just stay at the house. I ain't even fucking with it. Can't quite get the shirt to fit. How? Oh. I want. <laughs> the lawsuit accuses Henyard, the village of Dalton, and Thornton Township, where Henyard's supervisor, of attempting to cover up the alleged assault and retaliating against the employees for reporting it. Former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot has been hired by the four trustees who oppose Henyard to conduct an investigation into corruption in Dalton. Now, before we play this next one, let me ask you a question serious about Lori Lightfoot right quick. Do you think Lori Lightfoot had anything to do with what happened today? Or do you just find it a coincidence? Press one for she had something to do with it. Press two for it was just a coincidence. Okay, so so dig. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you both sides. If you picked one or two, I'm gonna tell you both sides. Number one, if you pick she has something to do with it, understand 
that for four hundred dollars an hour, it took her less than twenty four hours to get this nigga's name on the news. Some niggas has been trying to do for about a month now. I gotta at least give her that if that's the case, right? I don't know. I'm just saying if, right? Two, if it's a coincidence. This is the only one you getting from me then. The next one won't be a coincidence. Nope, can't give you the next one. If you want if you want to have this one as a coincidence, you got it. But if the very next thing happens, you're not getting that as a coincidence. So how you want to play it? Cuz what I do know is 2 days ago, everybody said fuck that bitch. A day ago, they were convinced to, all right, we'll try it out. Then the next day, Andrew, and she said she was specifically working on some of this Vegas shit too. I don't, I ain't, like I said, I ain't trying to give her no credit, but I, like I said, I'm just making observations of what happened yesterday and what happened today. You, you, these things correlate. <laughs> Jay Jones said Tiffany need to lead the country. Low key, that might not be a bad idea for her at this juncture. And that's 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 absolutely no cap when I say that. What do I want to grab? Okay. All right, I guess we'll go with the breaking news. Did I mute it? I must have muted it. My bad. Officer, have both filed a... There is some new fallout tonight to a story we've been following closely out of South Suburban Dalton. Mayor Tiffany Henyard's former assistant and a Dalton police officer have both filed a civil lawsuit against the mayor and trustee Andrew Holmes. Much of that lawsuit centered on what allegedly happened on a business trip to Las Vegas last May. NBC Advisor Regina Walter has spent six months trying to track down this story. She has a closer look at the new complaint. Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard, trustee Andrew Holmes, both now the focus of a civil lawsuit. Everybody that's named in this law lawsuit should resign from their position immediately. The lawsuit was filed by two Dang. people, Henyard's former assistant and Dalton police officer Byron Miles. It accuses Holmes of assault and battery and Henyard of retaliation. The I mean, these pictures, these damn pictures of Andrew are terrible. Allegedly occurred during and after an economic development trip to Las Vegas last May. On that trip, Henyard and a handful of village and Thornton Township reps, including her former assistant and trusted Holmes, Did you go to NBC Vegas? is choosing not to name the woman. According to the complaint, the woman felt disoriented, lightheaded, and ultimately blacked out after dinner with Holmes. She woke up in the trustee's bedroom physically uncomfortable and with no memory of how she got there. The complaint details a conversation between she and Officer Byron Miles when they returned from Las Vegas. A member of Mayor Henyard's security detail at the time, Officer Miles, in the complaint, informed the woman that the trustee told him he had unprotected sex with her in Vegas. Officer Miles advised the woman to seek medical care. According to the complaint, when the woman met with Henyard to tell her about what allegedly happened, Henyard told her if the information got out, she would be ruined and all the work she'd done would be lost. She then claims Henyard told her that she would take care of it and that the woman should trust her. The woman claims she was later put on unpaid medical leave and later terminated. Miles claims he was removed from the mayor's security detail and returned to patrol duty and faced a number of retaliatory actions later on for coming forward as a witness to what he believed was either sexual harassment, exploitation of a woman. An attorney for Holmes told us he had... This is this nigga's official photo, nigga. Damn it. Why did it go back, back? This nigga's official photo, bro. Holmes told us he has no comment. Yeah. Yeah, you know that's right. I fucks all the bitches. <laughs> you know that's right. Hey, Miles. Look over here, Miles. Yeah, nigga, I got her. Uh-huh. Yeah, Uncle Drew strikes again. <laughs> that's his official picture, nigga. 
Look at this nigga wide body, nigga. Oh, no. Lawsuit. At Monday night's Village Board meeting, four Dalton trustees appointed Lori Lightfoot, Chicago's former mayor and a former federal prosecutor, as a special investigator to look into the Vegas trip and other allegations being made against the mayor. At the conclusion of this investigation, I can laugh because she ain't here now, nigga. I'm the captain now. Nigga, like, I'm the captain now. Tiffany Henyard, I've come all this way for $400 an hour just to let you know. I'm the captain now. <laughs> hey, nigga, shout out to Uncle Lightfoot, nigga. <laughs> Tiffany, you know how mad you're going to be to lose to a bitch that look like that, nigga? <laughs> Tiffany go, nigga, nigga, t t Tiffany can't lose to a bitch that, nigga, 25 and 1, and she going to lose to that? Oh, no, nigga. Nah. Nah, nigga. No. She can't, nah, she 25 and 0. Oh, she can't lose to a bitch that look like this, bro. This is... Tiffany go, nah, Tiffany ain't gonna be right for the world. She take an L to her, bro. I'm the captain now. <laughs> nigga, Jason House gonna be mad than the motherfucker when this bitch and now she running for Mara Dalton, nigga. <laughs> nigga, Jason House gonna cry in the car, nigga. Nigga Lori Lightfoot gonna come out, nigga. Yeah, now that I taking out Mayor Henyard, I would like to announce my candidacy for mayor of Dalton. <laughs> nigga, that's what see, y'all damn y'all playing a dangerous game, nigga. Lori Lightfoot down there getting ready to be the mayor of motherfucking Dalton, nigga. I see the play, bitch. You not slick. You not I see you. You not slick. You <laughs> Nigga, you not slick. No, you not gonna be the bitch that brings Dalton back. Oh, no. We, no, we not going for this. Trustees, y'all better watch out, bro. She. I will provide an assessment of the findings and the recommendations, and I welcome and urge the full cooperation by Mayor Henyard, her staff, all village trustees. The village told us in a statement it's imperative that any third party council hired by trustees fully comply with legislative ordinance standards. At this stage, they do not meet these standards. Both the woman and officer Miles have filed complaints with the Illinois Department of. Wait, Keith Freeman, before I let Regina Walsh talk, Keith Freeman, am I getting this correct in this statement that your statement is that Lori Lightfoot ain't qualified? Because that's all I heard. Lori Lightfoot don't meet some standard that y'all got. And what is the standard exactly, Keith? That nigga T.O. said, y'all want y'all want to pay her $400 a month? I'll do it for free. Well, why would you want to do it for free? Because I want justice. And Tiffany Henyard is a friend of mine. I was like, nigga, you just admitted that out loud? Why are you trying to get them to let you investigate her? You just admitted to them that's your homie? They are the dumbest, bro. Rights. According to the lawsuit, they are seeking back pay, front pay, punitive damages, and also attorney's fees. Regina Waldrop, NBC5 News. Damn, they didn't even let you finish, Regina. I ought to let you finish. I didn't do that. They did that to her. Um, shout out to Regina Waldrop. Uh, neutral feeling about her. But Regina is the one. She's like at everything. So of the mainstream media, I respect her more than Dane Placco and Ben Bradley and this shit. Regina's at all the shit. She's the one that broke the Andrew story too. Without saying, you know, when it, what couldn't be said, it was Andrew. And thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Scott Schneider. And I'm Don Hasbrook. More controversy in Dalton. This time, it involves a well-known activist. Tonight, our Dane Placco off the top with the bombshell details in a breath. That's racist. No. Nope. That news nigga's racist. 
you can't say off the top like that. That's racist. And I'm Don Hasbrook. More controversy in Dalton. This time, it involves a well-known activist. Tonight, our Dane Platt go off the top with the bombshell details in a brand new lawsuit. Andrew Holmes has been a familiar face in Chicago for years, well known for his work as a community activist helping crime victims and police. But now, Holmes is being accused of a crime himself, sexual assault, in a civil lawsuit filed by a former employee of the village of Dalton and a Dalton police officer. In addition to his work as a community activist, Holmes serves as a trustee for the village of Dalton. The civil lawsuit against the village of Dalton, Thornton Township, Tiffany Henyard, and Holmes himself alleges that Holmes sexually assaulted a Dalton Village employee who we're not naming because of the nature of the alleged crime while on a village business trip to Las Vegas in May of 2023. According to the lawsuit, the employee had drinks with Holmes, whom she thought of as an uncle, Dang. began to feel disoriented, then passed out in Holmes' hotel room. Wait a minute. Side note. No disrespect. Is it just me or is this nigga's pace just a little too slow for you? He should be handing these flyers out with just a tad more pace. I'm just saying. The lawsuit alleges Holmes then called Dalton police officer Byron Miles, who was on the trip as part of Mayor Tiffany Henyard's security detail. According to the lawsuit, quote, Holmes began describing a host of his exploits from the trip, many of a sexual nature, to Officer Miles. At some point during his rant, trustee Holmes made reference to him engaging in sexual activities with a Dalton Thornton employee. And there was some suggestion that the employee may not have had the ability to consent and or did not provide consent. The lawsuit says Officer Miles then began recording the phone call and FaceTimed Holmes. Trustee Holmes then panned the camera toward the bed where Officer Miles could see a woman. This is the part for me. Miles is now, this is why it's old for Andrew Holmes, bro. Miles is on record with this shit now, right? But here's where it gets worse. If Miles is lying, he's done, right? So you know he's not lying. He's lying about having a FaceTime video of Andrew Holmes showing this chick. He's lying about that. He made that up. He's he lying? That's a very specific lie. Good night, Gus. Great to see you, Gus. I'm sorry, this is my first time even speaking to you, Gus. It's been just one of those days when Lacey can't read. Never mind. Tony said, my granny told me this nigga was a dirtbag back in 2015. Hey, my people here, hey, one of my big homies was on a TV show, okay? And I didn't know him at the time, okay? And... It was this, it was this motherfucker that... In the, on the TV show that everybody at home felt like he should have been rocking with, including me, right? And for whatever reason, he wasn't vibing with that nigga. And come to find out later on, he was totally right that that nigga was a clown, all this shit, right? I asked him about Andrew Holmes. He said, it's like that vibe, but worse. Like, there's some people that kind of, but like a lot, I, I haven't heard any men that ain't political vouch for this nigga. Oh yeah, they, they trying to, yeah, they trying to get Miles laid the fuck, uh, I don't want to say laid the fuck out, but like. They trying to, they, they, yeah, they looking for anything now. Or are they? Because here's the way I look at it. Why would I even think about fucking with Miles 
over Andrew Holmes. I'm going to fuck with him over Andrew Holmes? Man, I don't. That's a hard sell. Damn, nigga, can I get some type of love on it? Partially undressed. The trustee then moved the camera to various private areas of the woman's body, displaying them on screen and at time. Did you hear this? The, the trustee then moved the camera to various private areas of the woman's body, displaying them on screen at times, moving or removing. It's saying that. That means that Miles is saying he witnessed part of a, like a, a sexual assault. He just said... He, Andrew Holmes is just literally on the creep. Oh, my goodness. Andrew Holmes should have known he was recorded. You know why he should have known he was recorded? Can't no regular dude sit on the phone with that type of shit. That's some next level. Like, he really thought he could trust that nigga. He thought because he was like security that, like, that nigga was supposed to keep all his dirty secrets and shit. I don't know why he thought that. I don't fucking know why he thought that. <clears throat> he was literally pulling her clothes and shit off in the video. Moving or removing articles of clothing as he transmitted the images. The lawsuit alleges when the woman woke up, she couldn't remember anything that happened the night before and was not aware of the alleged assault until informed by Officer Miles when they returned to Dalton. Quoting the lawsuit, at some point during that time, Trustee Holmes was in communication with Officer Miles, and again, Trustee Holmes made reference to his exploits in Las Vegas. Trustee Holmes further advised Officer Miles at that time that he had unprotected sex with the female employee while in Las Vegas. The lawsuit alleges that when the officer told the woman what happened, she requested to speak to Mayor Hanyer, who was allegedly concerned it could hurt her politically. The lawsuit says Hanyer then advised the employee that if the information got out, Hanyer would be ruined and all of the work she had done would be lost. Now, with Tiffany... If they find out she did... Now, here's the part that's scary. Nigga, Lori Lightfoot might have a path to victory already. Hold on, nigga. So... Understand the next meet they go happen. Okay, and since the next meeting ain't going to happen, that means that she's not going to get a chance to do her veto shit, right? Of Mary, or Mary, Uncle Lightfoot. If Lori Lightfoot find one criminal thing that Tiffany Henry did to cover this motherfucking rape up, Nigga, Lori Lightfoot might have... Hold on, bro. She might actually have a path to victory already. Because that's it. Now, I will say, if they can if they can truly see that... If they can truly prove that Tiffany Henry... There's some text messages, videos, or something... Where this bitch covered up... This shit, it's over for her. It's over for her. If they, if, if Lori could turn, Lori about to be the next mayor of Dalton. No, I'm not going. Okay, the unlawful firing of an assistant. Yes, 
but they got to they if they can prove that she knowingly covered this shit up for Andrew Holmes because that's the thing even if they prove that she did that shit she can turn around and say well I fired her because Andrew Holmes told me she was lying and you know I believe trustee Holmes this community activist da -da 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 -da, she can easily slide out of that Why he feels so comfortable calling him about that? Must not be the first time. Okay, Don. And then if that's the fucking case, bet bet this though. Bet this though, um, Miles. Miles. You know what? Don. Let me let me rephrase this. You know how we know it wasn't the first time, Don? Don, you know how we can confirm that it wasn't the first time? He videotaped him. He probably even told her. He probably was like, yeah, let me see. Because he's done it before. Like like what you said. It's like what you said. He's done it before. That's why the thing is like reword. He's done it before. And that's how Miles knew the recording. For sure. For fucking sure. He's done. Has he shown Miles shown a girl like that on FaceTime or some shit like that? I don't know. That could have been the first time he got caught up on FaceTime. Javon Barksdale, what's happening? That could have been the first time he got caught up on FaceTime live. But yeah, he's probably calling about some bitches before. What if we find out there's another chick in Vegas? How long were they in Vegas? Does anybody remember? Off the top. Paul, it was a true honor. It was a true honor, Paul. Hey, you gave some of the grit, bro. <laughs> hey, we gonna definitely, we running Paul's back tomorrow. Big shout out to Paul. Big shout out to everybody. Except Andrew Holm. Community predator. They were in Vegas three days. Thornton Township paid twenty five thousand just for airfare, and Dalton paid more. Damn, Dalton! So, <laughs> nigga, she went up to Kroger's and emptied the ATM, pulled up the nigga. She took both credit cards to Vegas, nigga. That's wild. Yeah, they probably went to the Bunny Ranch. Like, he, they, them being there three days, that sounds like more than one chick. That sounds like more than one. <laughs> oh, and I don't laugh. Like, I laugh out of pure shock that this, bro... Again, just like six months ago, I'm just kind of looking at this shit. Now, like, the infrastructure's crumbling from beneath her, bro. Stan Brown, what you gonna do? Is Stan Brown gonna stay loyal to her through all of this? I'll tell you what. Stan Brown got the fuck about it, or, or he was real quiet after a fact. I didn't... I saw Stan Brown kind of at the beginning. I ain't seen him no more by the time I left. I don't know if he left. I don't know what he did. Now, that's what I want to know. I want to know where he got the drugs from, Sparky. Like, 
where did Andrew Holmes didn't just get that shit from some street dealing? He he probably took that shit to Vegas. Stan Brown was <laughs> Stan Brown, nigga. Hey, Jedediah, bro. That was some that was some MVP behavior. He had a cosign. And I'm, bro, I almost missed it. The devil was trying to fuck my phone. Didn't work. She said Stan Brown was popping in a relationship. Right assurances that Henyard and then Ugh. Henyard's boyfriend would handle the situation. The lawsuit alleges the female employee was eventually fired by the village of Dalton. Officer Miles still works for Dalton, but alleges his duties were diminished and he faced retaliation at work. We spoke briefly to Holmes this afternoon by phone who said he had no response at this time. Not to these allegations. I'm not bothered by it. Lastly, Why would that be your statement? Who on earth would say they not bothered by a fucking rape charge? <laughs> This nigga said I'm not bothered by it. Just another day on the block. Police have reportedly opened an investigation into the accusations against Holmes. On Monday, the four Dalton trustees in opposition to Henyard hired former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot to conduct an investigation into allegation. I'm the captain now. Corruption in Dalton including what happened on that trip to Las Vegas. Now, in January, the plaintiffs filed a claim with the Illinois Department of Human Rights outlining the same allegations. That claim has now been withdrawn with the filing of this lawsuit. So far, we've not received any response from Henyard or the village of Dalton. Dane Placco, Fox 32, Chicago. Nigga, this is just a bad day. Tiffany, you shouldn't even have showed up to this one. Now, what did I think about seeing Tiffany live? She looked basically the same. She looked on like on TV, but like, which is cake face. Like I could see her cake face from the back of the room. Hey, hey oh, again, shout out to Wiedemann. Stephanie Wiedemann. Because she also came over there when they was trying to violate my civil rights. I need a t-shirt. I had my rights violated by the Dalton, the Village of Dalton. Uh, uh, Village of Dalton administrator and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. I need to make that shirt. <laughs> I got my civil rights violated by a village of Dalton administrator. Oh, oh my goodness. I was surprised Tiffany and her gang even showed up. Only the clerk and the trustees were required. I guess she thinks she can still play to the cameras. Yeah, and if you guys were on the stream before it started, Chris Gonzalez, I did get to speak to Chris Gonzalez shortly. Chris Gonzalez actually said he actually was watching the channel, which was, what the, f I am entrenched in Dalton politics, which is crazy now that like Dalton Township employees know me and shit and whatnot. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to the Lansing Journal. Shout out to Eric Crump. But Chris Gonzalez told us he was like, she's gonna try to, she's already trying to get rid of public comment. Hey, but Chris Gonzalez was on some snitch shit. Let me show you how Chris Gonzalez did. This is how Chris Gonzalez told us. Hold on, let me get this motherfucker straight so you can see. This nigga Chris Gonzalez was like. Oh, hey, 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 guys. Hi. 
Chris Gonzalez, hi. He goes, yeah. Yeah, we should be starting here in a moment. You know, um, yeah, I heard she was going to, you know, probably try to do something with the comments, you know. But you have a good one. Hey, can I get a comment? Oh, yeah, you can get a comment. Yeah, great. <laughs> All right, now. I was like, nigga, you ain't slick sl sliding over here snitching on her, nigga. That nigga slid over here snitching on her cold the motherfucker, nigga. He snitched on... Nobody in the room knew he did it. And only people that knew was on the stream. Because I told everybody on the stream, I was like, you heard that nigga. He said they gonna fuck with the comments. He, Chris Gonzalez slid his motherfucking ass right over there and told, nigga, I was done. <laughs> so yeah, Chris Gonzalez was snitching before the meeting started, nigga. See, I'm real media, nigga. I'm gonna tell y'all the real shit, nigga. I don't know why the mainstream don't be telling this real shit. <laughs> that nigga Chris Gonzalez. I mean, you should have saw the slow walk. He was just like, it was like he was walking past and then he tried to play like he just so happened to notice us. He was just like, oh, hey, hey. It's like, nigga, we the only thing over here. Nigga, what you mean? Oh, hey. Nigga, Thee Freeman said. Nigga, this is how I did. This is how I did Keith Freeman. After they pulled him. After they pulled that shit. This is how I did him. That nigga turned. I said. Nigga, he was on the other side of the road, nigga. <laughs> I, t I picked it up with both hands, nigga. I was like, <laughs> I wanted him to, I wanted him to clearly know. I wanted him to clearly know, without a shadow of a doubt, I was recording him. I didn't want it to be any misunderstanding. I had, I had that motherfucker with two hands. I promise on everything. I wanted him. I, yeah, I'm taking you, bitch, punk. You, I wasn't even. I wasn't even gonna be on you like that. But since you, nigga, this is how Keith did it. Yeah, he can't be. Yeah, him right here. Yeah, he gotta go. He gotta go. I'm like, bitch. I can hear you. I'm standing right here. You should have saw his face when I said I wasn't going nowhere. He had that look on his face like, you ain't? People that said motherfucking Mr. Powell tonight. I killed the game this week with the Mr. Powell's hoodie. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. You know, I, I try not to have too much of ego, but I got an ego on this hoodie. Killed the game. A whole village. A whole Mr. Powell. We a whole village. We a whole municipality. And then on top of that, nigga, Keith, Keith Freeman. I think he kind of, bro. I know they, I know they don't heard me talking shit. I, I think niggas see my when they see my stature, they be feeling like they can intimidate me just kind of being big. Cause like, Freedom Frank was shocked. I was nigga. Y'all heard me when she, when Miss Mary got up and was barring that nigga out. I was like, she talking about you, nigga. I was like, yeah, she talking about you. <laughs> and he didn't even budge. He didn't even budge when I said that. That's the type of clowns they are. 
And if you was in the stream, you heard me say that. You heard me say that. There's no cap. When Ms. Ms. Mary was holding me down, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, she talking to you. The officer Moore is going to try to act like he ain't... He gonna act like he ain't violate my rights because he told another nigga to do it. <laughs> I told, and I told the nigga, I said, nigga, they about to slip you up. I was like, because if the police do it, they ain't gonna have qualified immunity. That you should that nigga could have the most uncomfortable stance. Like shit, am I? That's why I ain't gonna lie. The smallest thing, he, bro, he even told me he was like he didn't want no smoke with me. He was like, man, I'm just doing my job, and I'm like, violating my rights is your job. But I will tell you, the first little thing happened. He was gone and didn't come back. Did I tell Moore not to pray for me? Nah, Moore allegedly hit a bitch in the meeting. I want to know what happened with that. Wiedemann was like, wait, he just hit that woman. And then nothing happened. <laughs> like That's why I believe he did hit her. Because I'm like, it was like the police... Cause, let somebody has said Jedediah just hit a chick. Nigga, Miss Mary told them, nigga, pull up if you want that action, nigga. Hold on, nigga, wait. Nick, yeah, who the fuck got hit? Stephanie Wiedemann. First of all, before I get to that, Miss Mary told them, nigga, I got that thing on me. Hey, if y'all niggas want to pull up, nigga, just understand, I got that thing on me now. I don't even know what happened. The police and security, she was like, security, get over here. He hit this woman. I'm like, all I could think about was if a bitch, I'll serve your ass like John McEnroe. If a bitch steps up, I'm smacking the hoe. Them niggas ran over there. They surrounded him, and then they kind of looked like, well, he's somebody important. And then Miss Mary get up there. She go through her whole spiel. And she was like, and my address is blah, blah, blah. Pull up if you want, nigga. She said something like, nigga, you can pull up if you want to or some shit like that. Basically, nigga, I saw you coming out the nursing home the other day, nigga. I start the fire. Miss <laughs> Mary was like, nigga, pull up if you want it, nigga. If you want it. Nigga, because she, because, nigga, D Dots was behind her trying to intimidate her, nigga. Yeah, go ahead, Miss Avon. What you say? Uh, no, I was just saying, go ahead, Miss Avon. Go ahead. Nigga, she was like, pull up if you want it, nigga, like. <laughs> She was like, pull up if you want it, nigga. I said, how can, bro, this is why I have to pull up. A man sitting right behind them told me that the assailant was William. Don't pray. That's what I saw. Just so you know, Paul, I had, I got it. I got a good shot. I was already focused on Wiedemann. And Wiedemann just said, that man just hit her. I zoomed in more. He didn't even deny it. Just for the record, Moore never said, no, I didn't. I want to put that part out there. If he did, he said it quietly where I couldn't hear. He ain't say it in his normal. You know, I, I sat and I talked to Trustee House. And I asked him, just, just tell me one thing that the trustees have done. No, 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 no. Just tell me one. And Jason House admitted to me they ain't done. One thing. Yeah, that nigga. What did he hit her for? Bro, I, bro we, gotta, we have to crack this case. Because how the police didn't lock this nigga up instantly, I don't know. If Jedediah had smacked somebody, they would have locked him up instantly.
Mr. Moore hit somebody tonight. That's what they said. This is not a misunderstanding. Stephanie Wiedemann said, security, get over here. This man just hit this woman. That's what she said. I've never been in a room when that happened. That's what she did. And then the police come over there and they was ready to fuck him up until they realized it was more. And then when they saw it was more, they kind of was just like, kind of like, what do we do? I bullshit you not. I am not making this up. She literally called out for security, nigga. That's what fat ass moved from in front of me. And I'm like, I don't, th nigga, I know that nigga from channel, I think it was channel 32. I know that nigga was mad as fuck at me. That nigga was looking at me. He didn't, and I feel bad. I do want to apologize to him because he didn't have nothing to do with it. I wasn't dissing him. I just saw this nigga come in. Like, I didn't even know who this nigga was. We over there chilling. Some nigga with a yellow t-shirt come in. Dude. Throw up the tripod. Dude turn around and look at him. And he turned back around. And that's when you hear me go. So, what's up? Does this nigga got a press badge? Like, where's his press badge? He just, like, he just got a camera. I'm like, where's his media credentials? And then the nigga, the nigga was just like. That nigga, that nigga slid, bro. This nigga just had on a plain yellow t-shirt. Like, I got on, I got on a late night crew hat. I got my late night crew backpack. I walk in with a trustee. Multiple elected officials come check on me. And, and, and this, and they, bro, this is how stupid they are. This is where they understand. This is a level of shit that Tiffany be on. She knows she's going to be losing these lawsuits, but she's one of the very few people that be honest about it in the sense of she know that the village got to pay for these lawsuits. Yeah, they were lying. And shout out to the independent journalist. Nigga, I had a whole gang with me. As soon as they start trying to violate, both them motherfuckers rolled up. It was like, nah, man, that ain't true. That ain't true. Yeah, you got to have... This nigga said you could, he said my company has to have like some type of media press badge. Nigga, that's not no thing. <laughs> See, here's let me explain to you what let me let me explain to you what credentials are. If I go to the event as media and they want to separate me, they are to provide me with a credential. What they don't get to do is go we have these credentials that we're only going to give out to media that we are acknowledging as media nigga i was standing there like roman reigns nigga acknowledge me thornton township acknowledge me This is right. The Bill of Rights is my credentials. This nigga's like, hey, where's your credentials? Like, what are you talking? I never expected it either. I, they caught me lacking. I ain't gonna hold you. I was already in the building, fully set up. I'm like, y'all should have pulled this shit outside. <laughs> y'all fucked up. But what happened was they found out I was live. They saw that live. I had like, bro, I had like 2,500 people in the live. They like, shut this bitch down, nigga. <laughs> They looked back there. They was like, wait, he the only nigga back there? Hey, fat ass, go stand in front of that nigga. He said, I can't. That's violating his rights. I don't give a fuck. Violate him. Nigga T.O., nigga. The freedom hat was everything for me. I kept just putting the camera on the freedom because I needed y'all to just get where my mind was at. I'm literally looking at that like, is this a fucking, is this April Fool's today? Is this nigga really violating the my First Amendment? First one. He's really violating my First Amendment right while wearing a hat that says freedom. He didn't even want to, and then Keith Freeman, like they always do, they make these niggas commit fucking civil rights violations and then tell them, you can't tell who told you this. 
Well, Keith, I heard you, and I know it was you, pussy. Keith Freeman got ran down on by everybody tonight, nigga. He lost, bro. Keith Freeman had a bad night, too. Hey, Keith Freeman, is it true that you snitching? You better. You out here telling. You telling. Now the village of Dalton sees why I told them. I'm going to keep my word. I told the village of Dalton, I'm never going to sue them over the police. Matthew Cherry, I promise, is next up on the list. I stood my ground, though. Shea wasn't going nowhere. There was no way I was letting my First Amendment rights be violated in that nature. Because that was the whole thing. Like, I was, bro, there were people in there that literally was like, Shea, come over here. You got room over here. You can be here. You can actually be closer. And this, 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 that. I, you know the number one reason why I didn't want to do that? Because I didn't want a situation to turn out where... I go sit by somebody, then they go, oh, well, you sitting over here, so that means you not media, because media is supposed to be over there. Like, they would have, bro, Tiffany gaslights like that. They gaslight like that. If I had to move from out of the media pit and went and sat, like, where Jedediah was sitting or some shit like that. They didn't know how loud I was willing to be either. I hadn't even turned up yet. I was, <laughs> that's why I was giving you a chance. But then I'm like, now I got, I'm like, how can you explain this in court, bro? How can you explain being caught on camera, violate my rights, being told you violate my rights by multiple people, multiple, multiple journalists, elected officials, and others came and told this nigga he's violating my rights. Then he'll get in fucking court and be like, man, I didn't even know I couldn't do that. Nigga, you on camera for two hours with thousands of witnesses. Everybody else sees it and goes, you can't do that. You can't do that. And then the part that's gonna suck for him would suck for him, according is at the end when he see that Norris threw his ass under the bus with his trifling ass. You gross, nigga. <laughs> Why do you need my badge number, nigga? Cause you violated my First Amendment rights. That nigga was not expecting me to say that shit. Hey, man, what's your name and badge number, bro? I don't think, bro, I, bro, I love Long Island Audit. I think I might have had the coolest asking somebody for their name and badge number. Look, I'm biased, bro. I got to be biased. Hey, hey, what's your name and badge number, bro? Norris? Uh, <laughs> what's your badge number? Why do you need my badge number? Because you violated my First Amendment rights, nigga. Normally, I would have said I don't answer questions, but the answer to that question needed to be said. <laughs> I wanted to say I don't answer questions, nigga, but that question I wanted you to hear the answer to. His badge number is his rewards number at Dunkin' Donuts. Most likely. This nigga act like I can't find out who he is. Nigga, do you know who I am? That's why I'm sitting here laughing at all these people. I'm like, you do know I'm getting all of you niggas when I get home. All of y'all getting it. All of you. All of you little de fake ass department heads. You nigga, now you Thornton Township niggas. I was just fucking with Dalton niggas. Now I'm coming for y'all now. I'm about to check all of you Thornton niggas when I get home. You niggas about to learn. I am not the nigga. NBA young boy, I got a special session for you. Ugly bitch. How dare you be that dark and look like that? Dark skin is beautiful. I got dark skin, nigga. That shit look like fucking... She's ugly. <laughs> What's that smell? Oh, fuck. I left that Pop-Tart in the toaster. Damn it. She made me so fucking mad, bro. They tried to, bro, they tried to quadruple team me. It was that one nigga, I'm going to show, hey nigga, I'm going to show, I'm showing all of you niggas. All y'all niggas think y'all was slick. I'm showing all of you niggas. I'm exposing the fuck out of Thornton Township right from the house. 
And I'm trying to get back here for Miss Mary's rally on the 27th. You better hope I can't. You better hope I can't. Yeah, that was NBA Youngboy, Janice. NBA Youngboy, goofy ass. I feel like I'm Gucci Mane in 2006. And then she'll be crying. Just the same shit where she was on the video on Tyra Terminator crying. And again, while this bitch is sitting up here talking about how the employees of the township are, they're so threatened by LIA coming in here with a fucking camera while they literally have me surrounded. They got me surrounded. They got a nigga over in that corner. There was like three cops just standing watching me. And then when Lacey moved over into that spot, I was gone, bro. I saw Robert, which I didn't know it was Robert at the time. I saw Robert. I said, I'm be lying over there with him. <laughs> I'm be lying over there with them. Because I saw, I, bro, the shit was starting to get out of hand. And I saw how it was going. I'm like, there's like one or two more people left to talk. And the shit I wanted to hear, I'm gone. Now, if I, I knew Trina was going to go ahead and talk, I thought Trina was going to sit it out. But that was on me. But either way. You know what, Corbin? I think you're right. I think I'm going to have to make some sort of LNC press shirt now. I'm going to just make I'm going to make one of I'm going to just make one of my normal hoodies and then just put the press on my hoodie. Where's your credentials? You see it say press bitch? Get the fuck out of my face, ho. Whoa, the press doesn't talk like that. I do, bitch. <laughs> Press credentials, nigga. I'm just gonna put on my hoodie. I wanna shout out placebos one more time, man. Nigga, Plavos was the shit. I had so much fun at Plavos today. They thought I was bullshit. And I was there for like a couple hours. I was outside, bro. As a matter of fact, a lot of Dalton residents were actually amazed at how outside I was. Because they've heard of motherfuckers coming, and they see people come, and they like, they come, kind of, maybe they come to some shit, but... Nigga, Shay was in the streets. I'm very proud of the real late night crew and the work we did this week. Nigga, we was in the streets doing God's work. I met so many Dalton folk, bro. It's unbelievable how many Dalton people I've met. I was hoping I would get to see a lot of people. Bro, I I saw double, triple. So many people was like, shit, if I knew you was on it like that, I could have been sending blah, 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 blah. People rated, bro, there's people rated saying shit. Nigga, it, it was the tacos. Nigga, it was the tacos. What was that? Hold on. <laughs> Is that big old? Hey, man. Shout out to the security at Pablo's, bro. It's Pablo's, for the record. Shout out to the security at Pablo's, bro. They didn't do nothing but show me the utmost love. They some real motherfuckers, bro. They, bro. Dalton showed your boy love. I, I, bro, I, I cannot get out of here without saying that. Dalton showed your boy love. Every corner. Harvey showed me love. Y'all niggas told me Harvey was whack. Harvey showed me love. Shout out to OG Leroy and Harvey. He been married 61 years and she won't listen to a damn thing he say. I feel you, bro. I feel you.
Смотри. О. Yeah, I'll do that. Just let me know when. The bro, just I'm not playing to you when I tell you I may have had minimum fifty people come up to me and speak to me and show me some love, bro. Fifty. I, I was because my biggest battle ain't to try to get money. I just be wanting people to understand me. Not to the point where I got to change myself. I want people to understand me as I am. And I've never had a group since the start of LNC with the core members of LNC. I've never had this type of love like this. Like... If I needed somewhere to stay, if I would have told somebody like tonight, if I'd have said, hey, man, I don't really feel comfortable driving back into the city tonight. If I'd have asked for a ride or a tail, if I'd have just said somebody tell me, if, if I'd have straight up said, can I just stay tonight? Motherfuckers would have said yes. And I'm talking about mo not this ain't like one person. It's like multiple people, multiple people. Ask me multiple times, Shay, are you good? You need something to eat? You want this? You need this? You need this? Multiple people. Multiple people. Ed, Steve. Hey, Steve. Hold on. I gotta do it right. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta do it right. Nigga, I fucks with Ed Steve forever, bro. Ed Steve, that guy, bro. And I'm I'm about I'm about to help the Dalton trustee page get to twenty thousand before the end of the month. Watch this. I'm about to help Ed Steve get twenty thousand. Man, Ed Steve killing, and it's something he ain't doing that's about to send him to the moon. I'm about to put Ed Steve on. Ed Steve earned it. As soon as my phone went down tonight, the first person to hit me was Ed Steve. Hey, bro, you froze. Shout out to everybody that hit me. I was trying to hurry up and get back. That's all. I can't even tell you some of the shit the residents did and said. Just know they some real motherfuckers, bro. Shout out to Troy and family. Critical, Don. Burgundy. There's probably about 15 people I've met that I don't even know their name. The number one thing that Dalton people let me know off the air was my safety was a top concern of theirs. And everybody made sure I was safe. Shay made it into Dalton, went around Dalton multiple days, and left out of there unfazed. And it's thanks to the Lord putting all these magnificent people, or uh, putting their arms around me. What I did was a really big deal to the village. And I don't say that shit to brag. I say that shit to acknowledge that I appreciate. I'm just a nerd who, when I find stories I like, I go as deep as I can, and I never thought I found a story that literally has no bottom. I'm learning new. I've learned so much shit about Dalton today. I 
I got off the air last night and I damn near needed to come back on because my fucking brain wouldn't slow down enough so I can go to sleep. And now, all of a sudden, we like in it. We in it to the point where, do you know what it feels like to walk in somewhere and the police know who you are and actively watching you? I never have before, but it happened today. <laughs> they were like, sure you have, you're a nigger. You, of course you, of course you ran from the law. Fucking monkey. That's what you guys do. There's no turning back. We got some big work to do. And tell me the last name one more time for the record. I think I got it, but I want to be told one more time. Christopher. Oh, now y'all done forgot. Because there's, there's a message I want you to give somebody. I'm about to really start working on some Dalton shit when I get home. I'm really about to expose the fuck out of the police. Y'all vulnerable right now. Why haven't y'all made an arrest? And Dalton residents, they're in the chat. What is this? What's so special about Maxwell's where they can't be touched? Does anybody know? Or is it just basically they fuck with Tiffany? I would have to think Maxwell's has to be paid off. But I don't understand why they want, like, this is weird that they don't want to solve, like, solve her murder. Well, she's like, solve, solve his murder for, for his mama. When they, when she's like, yo, like, y'all been looking at this shit for a while. Kamal owns it, probably. And I'm putting the trustees on blast. I'm putting the trustees on blast. They would not let me pay for lunch. They wouldn't let me do it. So now we got it. We got to do something for the fucking. We got to do something for the female trustees. The, the beauty. Nigga, Trustee Brown. Nigga, she had on the softest leather jacket I've ever... Nigga, it was the soft... Nigga, it was the softest leather. Nigga, that, that cow died of natural causes. Nigga, that cow just fell asleep, nigga. That motherfucker better not... That motherfucker better not be on the warrant list. Damn it. It felt so soft that it might be. <laughs> that that motherfucker that shit was so soft I was like oh yeah that's a warrant list <laughs> I don't think anybody jacket game is better than Trusty Brown like her jacket game is man she's already shut it down with like three or four jackets that jacket she had on yesterday was fly the jacket I saw her in today was fly the other one I asked about the warrant list on the warrant list that one's fly. I had a great one-on-one -on -one talk with Trusty Tammy Brown today. Man, I fuck with Trusty Brown the long way, cuz I'm not playing. That's my homie. I had a long one-on-one -on -one today 
with Trusty Belcher. That's my homie, bro. Y'all, bro, y'all don't even, a lot of y'all be like, yeah, I like Trusty Belcher because she's so real. Nigga, y'all don't even know, bro. <laughs> she one of the realest in it, bro. D O T T S, nigga. Why is why is somebody hit me watching my earlier stream, nigga? Put the dots in the chat, nigga. D O T T S. Did you go to Vegas? 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 Chris Gonzalez. Did you go to Vegas? Did you go to Vegas? Did you go to Vegas? You went to Vegas. Yep, you went to Vegas. This nigga, he tried to do a talking filibuster for the me whole meeting. His idea was, I'm about to get up here and just talk until everybody wants to end the meeting. It was one of the dumbest plays I've ever seen in my life. Stephanie Wiedemann. I know as soon as Tiffany heard, and Wiedemann will be the Wiedemann will be the moderator. And, and Wiedemann is not scared of Tiffany, nigga. Just for the record, I hope y'all saw that. Wiedemann, Wiedemann is not afraid of that bitch, bro. Nigga, Jedediah came in with them camouflage pants and them slides, and I'm just like, nigga, I want to take you to sleep right now. I'm trying to... <laughs> I try to take Jedediah seriously, nigga. That nigga... I was like, yeah, here come Jed. Did that nigga walk in? I saw them, them camouflage pants and them slides with the socks. I'm like... I be trying to leave him below, bro. Did he do shit like that, bro? So understand, he was bodying the fuck out of motherfucker. He was bodying the fuck out of Bear Henry with some slides on, nigga. <laughs> this nigga looking like he just woke up, nigga. Yeah, good. Good morning. Morning, church. <sighs> that nigga, bro. That he walked up there with them slides on, nigga. I was done, bro. I, you can't even make some of this shit. You can't even make up, bro. Some, some of this shit you can't make up, bro. Nigga had on the motherfucking. <laughs> this nigga walk. This nigga walking up to the table. <laughs> This nigga rolled over them slides, nigga. I can't deal, nigga. <laughs> I fuck with Jedi, nigga. Jedi, nigga. Nigga, I can. Nigga, so let me show you what Jedi was on in the background. So, cause some of y'all couldn't really see. This is what Jedi was on. This nigga was like. Go back and watch his live. People in his live had to have motion sickness. He would not sit still. He was ready to get his shit off. Then he got up there. Hey, he killed them though. I'm gonna tell you when he killed them though. I'll give that a die this. Cause they had that bullshit rule where it was like you gotta say your name and your residence. The nigga Jedi said. Jedi Brown, homeless. <laughs> Nigga said, nigga said, Jedediah Brown, homeless. <laughs> nigga, I was done, bro. He killed me with that. I ain't gonna front. He, they didn't know what to say to that. <laughs> they, they didn't know what to say. That nigga said, nigga, Jedediah Brown, homeless. <laughs> Nigga, 
Why did you do that, Jedediah? Now you would wait for the stream tomorrow. And yeah, I want to address the allegations about me being homeless. Obviously, I'm not homeless. I have Gucci belt buckles. I'm not homeless. I was just saying that as part of what I was saying to the mayor, Mayor Hinyard, Haynard, whatever her name is. But to support me in my homelessness, hit that cash app link. Hold on, let me pin the right one. <laughs> What Paul say? I'm looking for man. Me too. Lansing Journal was doing work too, Paul. And they, again, I vouch for the Lansing Journal. They they stepped in and stood up. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga's gonna have to address them homeless allegations tomorrow, nigga. Hey, but you can't do it sitting in the nigga. A Jedi. I love you to death, bro. This is where we... I'm going to tell you the shit that make me be bumping heads with you. This is on some real shit. Because he proved something to me tonight. I was like, okay. Nigga, you did not turn around from, on the way to the airport. You can miss me with that, nigga. No. I so want to believe you, nigga, but... That's too much. <laughs> Car, you a fool. <laughs> hey, but look, I got to give Je bro, Jedediah... He said he would do it, and he did. He said he was going to go in there and give motherfuckers the works, and you know what he did? He went in there, and he gave motherfuckers the works. I got to be honest. That's who he hit, Cash? He hit the newspaper lady? Hey, more. Don't make me do a host. If I go, if I'm going to talk to a couple more people more. Listen to me more. I want y'all to hear me. More than likely, I'm going home tomorrow. You know what that means? I'll be in the studio tomorrow night if I go home tomorrow. Which means I'll be in with all of my toys. I will not have my family adult with me anymore. But I'll have all of my toys back. And Keith Freeman. I'm going to send all. Shout out to Long Island, Island, uh, Long Island Audits. And all of these things. And. I want to shout out Hannibal again. Hannibal, bro, Hannibal, he good in Dalton, too. He's, he good in Dalton, too. But I'm good, good. I walked, bro, I walked in the bar. Some nigga I didn't know bought me a drink immediately. The security guard was like, bro, I, I was just watching your shit last night. And I thought he was, you know, you know how motherfuckers can say that shit. The nigga said, hey. The nigga said, hey. The nigga said, hey. You said something about Trusty Belcher walking past thirst trapping or some shit. Nigga, she was thirst trapping. Did you not see her in the polka dots? Y'all should have saw her today. Y'all should have saw her today. Y'all should have saw Trusty Norwood today. Y'all should have saw Trusty Br Tammy Brown today. Oh, wait. 
I'll, I'll post a picture or two. <laughs> you know, I gotta do anything for clout. <laughs> I want y'all to understand. This is learning something else, bro. Them trustees are more regular than you you think, bro. They truly can't even believe they in this shit like this. Ed Steve is Ed Steve, bro. Ed Steve is on a beautiful adult mission, bro. Y'all got to put Ed Steve back in that trustee spot, bro. What, I'm just telling y'all, y'all have to. I, I ain't going to vouch for nothing else. I'm going to vouch for Ed Steve. And you know why I'm going to vouch for Ed Steve? He truly loves Dalton. He truly loves Dalton. He truly loves Dalton. If y'all was ever, if anybody had any type of on the fence about Ed Steve, I want you to know for me, that nigga loves Dalton. Hold on, let's try, hold on, I think I can find, let me go try to find when Moore allegedly hit this bitch, bro. No, nah, because I ain't going to be able to hear it. I forgot. That was the portion when he was... Yeah. I'll just wait till tomorrow. Audio boosted. So we can really break it down. Jason was so we're praying, Lord, don't fuck the money. Hey, Jason, bro, if I was Jason, I had a beer tonight, nigga. Hey, this couldn't have played out better for Jason. Jason got the, everybody to agree for $400 an hour because this bitch said she was getting ready to motherfucking investigate for real. And the very next day, they allowed to say Andrew Holmes' name. You see what I'm saying? Don't say it You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Hold on right quick. Low key need to go to the store. Low key. Did you see Della video sh uh, show Ed Steve leaving and Tiffany started singing? Oh my goodness, no. I'm gonna need to email me that link, bro. I'm so glad I didn't get locked up tonight. That would have been stupid. 
but I can't say that I was not prepared for such. I'm not an auditor, but I'm not an idiot either. What's the play? How long have I been on? Five hours? I guess I'm ready to go and fuck it. Shout out to Plavos. Yeah, this is what I met him today. Very nice man. Do you ever drop links for people to come up and speak? Last week was the first week I did it. And I think it's going to start being something I do on Fridays. Now, uh, yeah, I, I think that's something I want to start doing. And in the next time that I do it, I'm not just going to do it with Dalton residents. You know, I'm going to let, you know, obviously Dalton residents have preferential, when it, especially if we're speaking on Dalton. They got preferential treatment in that's that case, but... I think I am going to open it back up maybe this weekend. It's definitely this weekend because there's so much stuff happening. And I do want to hear people's opinions on like Lori Lightfoot and shit like that. So we're going to try to get people in and then we'll set, you know, M Mama Hill and Jew, their situation was different. They, that was basically an interview, if you will. But, um, you know, definitely set it up. You know, try to do five to ten minutes with everybody and see what that. Um, hey, real quick, we're gonna do two minute public comment. Two minute public comment. Oh my lord. Oh, no, I, look, okay, so here's my thing. Look at it like this. Okay, Sparky. I had seven days to, like, get ready for a full, like, this type of thing. And I've never had to do this type of thing before. My on-the-road streaming is generally more easy. Like, with this. Like, I'm not never in no situation. Like, like so, when I get back, I got to get two lapel mics. I got to get two lapel mics. I need to get some sort of boom mic. I mean, that shit Tiffany be doing is so trifle. And don't you know this bitch had the nerve to have a gold mic that looked like a fucking dildo? I'm like, you probably done put that in you. I ain't even gonna hold you, man. She, she might have put that... She might have put that damn microphone up in her. Are you willing to bet she didn't? You gonna tell me she ain't put that gold microphone in her ever? What up, Gio? <laughs> Nigga, I said everybody got a regular mic. She got a gold mic. I'm like, why do y'all let her rule over y'all like this? Nigga, her lawyer look, bro, Delgado ain't never looked that stupid. Delgado ain't never looked that stupid. She, bro, she looks stupid. She, she couldn't answer the... Understand. She couldn't answer the question. What was the question? Are you the attorney of the township or are you the attorney of the supervisor? <laughs> she couldn't answer that question. <laughs> it's the most simple question ever. So are you... Who's, whose lawyer are you? Are you the lawyer for the township or are you the lawyer for the, for the supervisor? So you're not answering questions? This is, uh, no, no, nah, th nah, this is for public comment. No, no, this is for public comment. Now, 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 when we have it, now, y'all come out here and y'all want to report on the negative. 
My podcast had 20,000 views in two hours. Shit, you liar. That's that bitch. You know what You, ma'am, are a liar. We'd have been sitting there. Yeah. It says public comments and public questions. No, it says no, no. When it was posted, no. I'm the moderator. So are you guys not answering questions? Why does Tiffany be laughing like we don't know Dots is a plant? Like, she, Dots get up there and say the dumbest shit. Tiffany be laughing like... <laughs> she be thinking he be barring niggas out. Go back... Della. Della, did you see... Did you see... Did you see Dots at the end of this motherfucker? Tell me you saw Dots at the end of this motherfucker. Nigga, I left. He made me leave. Dots made me leave. This fool, he was saying the most incoherent shit, and Tiffany was just up there laughing. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Twilight Zone. I saw that bitch in person, and it was pretty devastating. I saw her in person, bro. And I gotta be honest, she's probably one of the she one of the ugly bitches in Dalton. I ain't gonna front you. Because I'm telling you, I see beautiful women from top to bottom. Like, and when I say top to bottom, I'm talking about age. The older women in Dalton look good. The younger women in Dalton look good. And I saw some I saw some more Dalton girls when I was out today. They, Dalton, Dalton, all right, with only chicks. Unless you don't like black girls, you think if you think black girls are ugly, then you probably ain't gonna, gonna fuck with it. But if you don't think black girls are ugly, Dalton's, Dalton's a nice spot. Fuck, I told him fuck twelve, fuck dots. <laughs> I told him fuck 12 fuck dots. Did, did you go to Vegas? 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 You went to Vegas. So what are you saying? Chris Gonzalez raped her? I don't even understand where he was going with that. So are you saying that Andrew Holmes didn't rape her? Chris Gonzalez did? Like what do you what is it you're saying? He literally implied that Chris Gonzalez might have raped that chick. That's wild even for that. Man, shout out to L Fox holding me down. She held me down big time. Motherfuckers was not going for the disrespect of LNC, bro. Hey, and here's the crazy part, Dalton family. Y'all have only met me. It's literally about 15 people you really need to know besides me if you go fuck with me. That's how cold we are. I'm never out in these streets by myself for real. Even though they be, I swear, I'll be telling. And I know everybody think it's like when Jetta die, I say he got a team. That's why I can believe him. Maybe he has one. Who knows what his team does? I got a team, and I promise you, it, it wouldn't seem normal to you. Who knows? I 
he gonna tell Steph say tell say Stephanie didn't have a high school diploma, but we still have Tiffany's. <laughs> Nigga, Dots came in on some bullshit. This nigga, as soon as he walked in the room, he was walking in the room like he was looking for the microphone. He came in the room like... Then he tried to cut in front of Miss Mary. Miss Mary was like, nope. Then that nigga said something slick to her. She said, what you say? Uh, no, I ain't seen nothing, Miss Avon. I ain't seen nothing, Miss Avon. And if you pull up over here, got something for that ass. That's Dalton. That's real Dalton, nigga. Oh, hashtag trustee Belcher was wrong. Nigga, they, they told us, they was like, yeah, the media gonna get in at, at uh, 645. She was like, nigga, they not opening them doors. She was like, I don't know why they standing there. As soon as that clock hits 6.45, the doors fuck open. <laughs> I couldn't do that but laugh. You, you, nigga, 6.45 came. I mean, they opened them doors promptly at 6.45. And then proceeded to violate my... They didn't violate nobody's rights in the beginning but mine. They, I, I just was seemed like that nigga's rights you could violate, I guess. I guess I had bitch on me. Tiffany, this one gonna hurt tomorrow. Shit, but it, man. But I wouldn't, but the thing about it was, I took that, I ain't gonna lie, that was one of the biggest compliments ever. Remember, I can say we, even though you watch me on TV, but we have watched auditors and we sit here like, nigga, y'all niggas out crazy. Nigga, I was in the middle. I got pushed into it out of nowhere. And now I get it now. I'm like, nigga, I did when I was minding my fucking business and all of a sudden violate my rights. Them niggas didn't ask me for my ID because them niggas was never getting it. But they don't need, they, you know why they don't ask for my ID? They know my name is. Hold on. <laughs> nigga, dog people just never cease to amaze me with some of the shit they be saying, bro. I be thinking I have some of the answers, and they hit back with just the wildest shit, bro. <laughs> if you if you niggas knew the conversation I had with Trina Downs, bro. What you mean your face though? Nigga, what the fuck? Nigga, I was dead serious too. I was so serious. Nah, I might figure it out. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna figure something out. <laughs> I'm telling you, dog motherfuckers, dog people wild, bro. Wow. The conversation I had with Trina Downs will forever be one of my favorite. Troy, me, Troy, and, and sis, that shit's legendary. Those, those two conversations are two of the most legendary conversations I had. First of all, I'm trying to be, first of all, Trina made fun of me because I was like, yes, ma'am. She don't realize that I say that shit about everybody. To, I say this shit to all women, no matter how. I say it to my daughter sometimes. Like my daughter says something, like, yeah, yes, ma'am. It's just how I do. Nigga, as soon as I said it, she started roasting me. I'm talking about nigga. I went even all the way around the whip. She started roasting me. <laughs> and then we started having a very good conversation. I fuck with Trina Downs the long way, bro. <laughs> that's the homie. That is the that's the motherfucker homie. This is definitely the craziest mess I ever heard of.
Who was this? Hey, did you see that one dude when I put the camera up on Keith? That they put that shit up over his face. He had a, but it was small. It was like a little yellow piece of paper. He was trying to hold it over his face. Niggas said, here's the deal. They don't want you here. What? Okay. I don't care. I'm not here for any of them. Freeman thought he could, Freeman really thought he could just point at me and get me out. He want, He wanted that. Keith wanted that. Keith, Keith wanted to be, he wanted to go back to tell Tiffany, I pumped that nigga for you. He wanted to do that. Mission failed. <laughs> Game over. No continues. Wasn't I supposed to be signing off 15 minutes ago? Wait a minute. You want to know who else I was kicking it with today? You want to know who else I was kicking it with today? Him. Security. Cooler than a fan. Shout out to Pablo's, nigga. Cooler than a fan. Wait, wait. I know him. No, nah, that wasn't him, though. He looked like him, though. That's the dude from the township. He gonna be mad at me. He's like, you don't look nothing like that nigga. Man, I have to roast. Them niggas was roasting the fuck out of me, bro. They roasted me so bad. Am I sleepy? Not really. I need to run to the store, but I don't know where the store is. You'll send me a hundred dollars if I turn and rave, turn around and wave goodbye to Tiffany. What does that mean? I'll turn around. First of all, she don't do dares for money. Dares for money generally fuck niggas up. Hold on, right quick. I'll be right back. I need some. Yeah, I really want a gas station more than an actual store. I think I want a gas station. I really just want to... I need to fill the car up right quick. And then I want to... Um, hit an ATM. Come on, let's go. I think we can just head down the street right quick. Do this right quick, and then I guess I'll sign off. So at least I'll be safe. People ask if I get, I do get sleepy, but it's hard to sleep when your adrenaline is pumping.
gas station on. Fuck it. We've already done everything else, bro. You know why else I've been streaming so long? Because I want to prove a point that I really don't care about being demonetized. I need people to understand. God told me I don't have to worry about it. And just let it shake. Now, does let it shake mean that... Bro, if y'all knew how much money I, I was going to miss this month, some of y'all would just vomit. That's why I'm glad I'm in a better place. God had to get me to this point. Because, bro, if I told you truthfully how much... You'd fucking vomit. You'd vomit. Man, I hate that I can't, like, stock up on drinks and shit, like, when I go to, like, to, to the airport. They literally be like, you can literally get what you were just drinking on the other side. Because, you know, 9-11 and stuff. For the record, I wasn't going to be cheap with it. I wasn't even going to be cheap with it for the record. <laughs> but, but uh, a nigga hit that. A nigga hit some, some numbers I wasn't ready for. Let's see, if I bust a right, I think I can hit a gas station quick, right? Let's find out. Bro, I only smoke what? I smoked three blunts mm -hmm. on the first show and one blunt since. Cool. That's all right. We gonna be all right. Oh my goodness gracious. What do you mean, Shay seatbelt, please? Shay never rides without his seatbelt, bro. Safety first. Who drives without their seatbelt? First of all, it's annoying. <laughs> Ride without a seatbelt is one of the most annoying fucking things you can do. Boom, 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 boom. Y'all be telling me to put my seatbelt on just so I could fucking turn that shit off. No, somebody didn't just park that rented bike right there. Okay, hopefully this gas station right here is just open and we'll be done with it. This is the longest light ever for like nobody coming. Um, I was surprised Trustee Stan Brown was there. We get to make it a, a even shorter drive than I expected. Okay. Hey, this shit might... Uh, it's gonna spin. Oh, let me just see. Let me see something first before I do that. I may not even have to. Let's see. All right. Obviously, y'all gotta go with me, right? Do I got enough battery for y'all to go with me? I do. 
I've had a very fun night. I don't, this is one of those nights I don't really want to end. I'll be, I'll be alright when everybody bounce out. I might even hide this stream because I got to cut it up so much. I got so much cutting I got to do to this. These two streams. That part I'm not looking forward to, but shit. You know, it is what it is. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I don't know. Yikes. Of course. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 uh. oh. I came in the wrong side there. Uh, um, what's, tomorrow? what's tomorrow's day? What's good, man? Can I get uh, 50 on four? Please. Can I receive pretty, please? Yep. Thank you, sir. You too. So we got one for two on that juncture. One for two. It feels pretty good out here. I don't know what the temp is right now, but it feels pretty good. It's definitely a nice hoodie weather. It's an awesome hoodie weather. That's okay. How much is gas? Back home, it's like 279, right? At home, when I get home, gas is 279. Here is four dollars and sixty-seven cents. I got you. Get some rest. I got you. You'll wake up to a message. Pimp. Yeah, gas is four and change, bro. You see that shit? Hey, J. Rob, we all been there, bro. Remember, I used to live in I used to live in Nap, so I know about these high gas prices. Oklahoma, they be bitching when the shit get over three dollars, nigga. They be bitch when that shit get to $3. I guess let me see where it's at so I can... So I'm probably going to have to put some more in. Y'all can stay here while I grab that pump. Let's see where we at. Now, I already put 20 in it. Y'all heard me put 20, so I'll put 70 in it. It's almost full. I guess it's full enough. Whatever that means. Why do you leave us in, leave us in the car like we're kids? Because I was just getting the damn pump out and you niggas wasn't getting shit. I told you, don't ask for nothing when you came. Now you're low-key asking for shit. Why you want to go in if you ain't asking for shit? Don't ask. Act like you ain't told niggas don't ask for shit before they get in. The niggas, as soon as they, 
Why can't we go in? Because you're going to ask for shit. That's why. Oh, I ain't never had. And you never gonna. <laughs> and you ain't never gonna. Nigga, please don't make this hard. I'm just looking for a fucking ATM, bro. And I got a feeling this is going to be hard for no reason. Just, nigga, I just want to fight ATM. Here we go, LNC Follies. ATM at two o'clock in Chicago. Nah, I'm, I'm, uh, cause I don't know if I'm gonna see my people before I leave, so I wanna try to, you know, make sure I tell everybody thank you properly and whatnot. Oh, we might have got lucky. We might have just got lucky, nigga. Hold up, hold up, wait. I think we found a ATM, bitch. Yay. Where's that nigga over there going? He's looking mighty unsavory. And this nigga, he look like he just got motherfucker. Man, man, are all the ATMs fucked up here? Is there anywhere where the ATM actually fucking works? Damn it, and then this is the one. I hate Chicago already. See, I knew it. This is LNC. Can't just. This is gonna be a mission. Cause I low key want to go back the other way I came. But that was one way. All right, bet I can't go this way now. It's one of ATM, bro. Well, at least I do know if I was, I know there's something because it's here. If I was in Oklahoma, it'd have to be a wrap. I have to find just like a bank. Well, I know where a couple ATMs are in Dalton, but I'm not in Dalton. You think I, you think I would just be driving around two in the morning in Dalton, nigga? Did y'all niggas not see how I left? <laughs> Yeah, no. No, we figured out. I can't. I ain't gonna dox myself on fucking stream. I know Lacey, this nigga fat ass nigga. As soon as he saw me hop in the car, this nigga was like, "Yup, we got his fast. Got that nigger." I don't, if you're just join, joining in, Chief Lacey is illiterate. That's all. He, he's illiterate. Man, I wish Sean knew that part. Oh, when he said that shit, when he did say that shit about Lacey, I wish he knew the fucking part that this nigga actually couldn't read. He knew that nigga didn't pass that exam. I think he still ain't passed it either. You know what I noticed in Chicago? Niggas don't respect traffic lights. 
Like, I would want to talk shit about y'all niggas and traffic cameras and shit, but how can I, when I sit right at this fucking light, and... Bro, you saw when I was... I told y'all when I was leaving out of Dalton, that fucking car did that shit. Nigga, I just saw 12 duck down, but they way down the fuck down there. They be in a lot of these little unmarked motherfuckers down here. Again, I'm God, so I don't have to worry about ATM robberies, bro. I'm not, I'm not, I would have to worry about ATM robbery if I was getting ready to use my ATM card to go buy some pussy. That'd be some, I'm so serious. It's not even a joke. I'm so serious. If I was getting ready to use my car to like go buy some pussy, then I have to worry. Because I'm out here doing something I ain't got no business doing. I'm not out here doing nothing I ain't got no business doing. I ain't putting gas in the vehicle to go somewhere silly or any of that shit. I'm just minding my business. So hopefully that makes sense. I don't have to be scary like that. That's why it's extremely important to live correctly and stay out of trouble. So you can have this type of extra currency when needed. I just want to find the 18th room. Now, if I don't see nothing like right here, then it's over. I tried. I know everybody, motherfucker, use Apple Pay. They don't use Apple Pay, nigga. Apple is the demon, bro. You don't fuck with that demon phone. All my old ladies been smoking all this reefer without me. I'm so jealous, bro. That's all right. We getting it in tomorrow. If I go home tomorrow, 20, I'm put, we gonna put down 20. 20? Shay! What, y'all ain't trying to fuck with 20? I thought y'all niggas said y'all were smokers. Never mind. Never mind. We can do 17. I did just so happen to re up before I left. Oh, I know what I can do. And who the fuck did this? Somebody ate White Castle and just threw the fuck White Castle in the middle of the street. Like the bag? Y'all niggas are the worst, bro. All right, we look like, we're, I mean, we're almost back, but it, I think it's kind of safe to say we made it back safe. Hey, them speed bumps, remember I was telling y'all them speed bumps were so fucked up? Guess where them speed bumps, where they got them speed bumps from? Remember I was complaining about them speed bumps in Dalton? I was like, it's like driving up on the sidewalk. Guess where they got the motherfuckers from? Some of y'all about to lose y'all motherfucking mind when y'all here. They got the motherfuckers from Ulan, bro. They bought speed bumps from Uline. So, first of all, Uline officially sells everything. I know some of y'all think I'm lying, too. I am not lying. 
the trustees told me to my face that them fucking terrible bro the lady at the bar said she said oh yeah i don't drive down that street once they got those that's what she said they bought them hoes from uline You lying, Pimp. Give me two seconds to do a, just do a walk around once over, make sure I don't leave nothing in the car. Sing that song no more, Meek. You fucked it all up, nigga. Alright. I got my stand in my pocket. Says now. I'm really getting ready to go sign off here in a moment. I don't want to sign off because it's the end. All right, we good. You know what is amazing to me? How little I've eaten since I've been here. Hope everybody all right. I thought they was like right here, right here. Hold on. They seem like they're wrong. I got so much stuff in my pocket, I can't get the fucking keys. White Castle was on. You said White Castle was on fire, like for real? Cause that just sounds serious. Oops! I don't got the fastest time ever. I'm trying to be fast, y'all, but bro, this should be complicated. We did it, y'all. Too many drinks and since I am sitting in a fully stuck. 
Dalton. Uh, Dalton. And then I retire. Shout out to everybody, bro. That's still here. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Just shout out. Let's see. Hold on. come back I'm right here I just poured me a drink oh, I, there was that good night Corbin man I appreciate you man. thanks for them time I spent here man. good looking out appreciate you this one's for Dalton I ain't got no long ass speech Dalton nigga Dalton Hall. see me maybe at the airport maybe home who knows all right everybody i took my shot i guess we can go to bed i guess say good night to your boy man it's a great evening a great it's uncanny what the lord can do Della, we got a link off air at some point though You know, let's, that's the issue, but you, you be, you, we gotta show up, bro, the girls are embarrassing us on this Dalton shit, I'm gonna keep it a stack, <laughs> before I go, I'm so, I gotta say this before I go, <laughs> the girls have been kidding this Dalton shit, fellas, we gotta step our game up, They're beating us like this, bro. Carla, Jerry, Angela, Carefree, Kiki, Goat, Steven. Any of y'all dog motherfuckers hit me early if y'all trying to. I'll see what I can do. I don't know if I'm going to have no wheels. That maybe. Nah. You know what? I can Uber to Dalton. What's, what's, it go, what's the Uber going to cost the Dalton lane? Shit, like $230. Clean. Adele, my, yes, Mods, please throw my email. If I'm home tomorrow, Della, I'll hit you tomorrow. If not, I'll hit you back Thursday for show, for show. But I'm, nah, actually, yeah, I'm going to hit you tomorrow. No, I'm going to stop. Yeah, I'll hit you tomorrow for show. Yeah, email me, email me. B, Will, Latasha. Oh, Lord, Janice. Everybody. What we gonna do, bro? All in the day's work, Kendra. Made an impact, y'all. So that I see them all. I'm probably lying. Here's the little Wayne. 
I don't think I want to fuck her anymore.